we are we live? Yes, we are. Okay, it is 12:48 a.m., uh, April 18th, 2024. Uh, the Wednesday night stream, technically now Thursday, but you know you catch my drift. We're gonna play some more Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels, which is Super Mario Brothers 2 in Japan, because I'm enjoying this a lot more than the U.S. Super Mario Brothers 2, <laughs> at least so far. I mean, it is difficult, but it feels like Mario. That's what's important. Okay, let's share this. Da, 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 da. Bum, bum, bum. Yo, Hot Midnight, what's up, dude? Welcome in, how you doing? Good to see you, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for stopping in. What's up, what's up, baby? Copy that, post that. Good to see you too, man. Yeah, hope all's well. Hope all is well with you, my guy. Yeah, they apparently didn't bring this to the U.S. Not just because it was too hard, but it was also too similar to the first one, which I noticed instantly when I played this last time. <laughs> I was like, dude, this is... This is basically Super Mario Brothers 1, uh, but harder, you know? Same music. Uh, there's a little bit of different sprite work with the ground. It looks a little different. Like, you don't, I don't recognize those, the tree or that mushroom thing, but most of it is almost identical. They could have added some more music. I think I find that pretty weird. Yo, Resident Evil Jesse, what's up, dude? Good to see you, too. How are you doing? Stopping in, my guy. I'll give you guys some shouties here in a minute. I'm just going to finish um, sharing and letting, you know, let some more people come in here. Get some more people popping. Dude, I have these gnarly cuts in my hands, but I haven't hit anything. I must be hanging them up in your sleep. You don't know how you're cutting your hands? Wow, that must be uh, pretty wild. doing in your sleep, dude. <laughs> you know? Damn. Okay. Yo, AW1, what's up, dude? Good to see you, too. How you doing, man? Welcome in. Welcome in. Happy uh, Wednesday. Happy hump day, everybody. Hope everybody's week is going pretty good. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what we're talking about. Okay, I think we're good to go here. Either that or ripping them on your on your cabinets by accident. What are you doing with your cabinets? Banging? I'm doing good doing math problems homeschooling tomorrow. Oh, no shit. Math problems. Oh, you like math? Been cleaning and unpacking because I wasn't at home for a while, so I probably just didn't notice. Hmm. Maybe. I, I hope that works out for you, man. I hope your hands don't you know, screw up your hands. Uh, let's give a, let's get some shout-outs going here. Guys, go check out Hot Midnight if you haven't yet. This guy's cool. He's great. He plays a lot of games. He's a variety streamer. Uh, last playing, uh, Death Stranding. Yo, Joe, welcome in. How you doing, Joe? Thanks so much for stopping in. Claiming first. Let's go. <laughs> welcome in, Saber. How you doing? Welcome in, guys. Good to see you. Yeah, guys, check out Hot Midnight. He's over there variety streaming, playing some Death Stranding, a Metal Gear Solid series, Uncharted series, Grand Theft Auto, and tons of other games, man. Chill, dude. Some good times, good vibes. Go get my follow. Let's give Resident Evil Jesse a shiny, too. Resident Evil Jesse's over there playing the Resident Evil games. You know, what a surprise, right? But no, Resident Evil's awesome. One of my favorite franchises. If not favorite franchise, dude. It's awesome. He plays the new, the old, all that stuff. Also playing some Street Fighter VI. But go check him out and give him a follow. Because, you know, Resident Evil is awesome. You know what I mean? But yeah, thanks for stopping in, guys. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Alright, let me just let the timer run out. And... I was just using it for background music. <laughs> You know what I mean? You like your picture, Ren? Thank you, Ren. Hey, like you said, I had to make a custom one for this, right? Okay, time up. Let's just run off the cliff. I'm not even count this as a, as a death. That way I can just, you know, start off with uh, more lives on the next run here. Okay. 
So here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you gotta get used to this. Thank you for the shout out. You're welcome, man. Thank you for being here. Thanks for taking the time out of your day. Shit. Oh yeah, that's the poison one. Gotta get warmed up here. Should be a big mushroom. Who is your daddy? It. And what, and does, what he does he do? do? Sure does. Yo, Pengman, what's up, dude? Welcome in. How you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well and all swell. You know what I mean? Everybody go check out Pengman19. If you have not yet, another awesome streamer playing some Kingdom Come Deliverance coming in all the kingdoms. Pengman's awesome. Known him for a while. He's a, he's a good pal, a good buddy. Um, he's got a great, great uh, voice. Great radio-esque voice, you know. Super smooth <laughs> to listen to. He got some good commentary on his games because he notices all these cool details when he plays the games, man. It's, it's cool. And he, like I said, he plays uh, epic open world games, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Coming in All the Kingdoms, Death Stranding, sci-fi stuff like that, or uh, Dead Space, Starfield. You get the drift, you know what I mean? Either way, Pigman's awesome, so you guys want to go check him out. Go check your shit out. What's up, buddy? You doing good, man. Can't complain, you know. I was over there in Kronos' stream. It was fun watching Prince of Persia. That's a pretty awesome game. Did you ever play any of those games? I don't know if that's really your jam. Oh, shit. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Yo, Soul Solace, resubbing. Dude, thank you so much. There he is. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Thank you so much for the sub, too. I really appreciate that. Wait, we can get Fire Mario. I think if we go down here, right? Wait, but Twitch didn't exist in 2010? Wait, what? Maybe Justin TV. <laughs> You're being lied to. You going back to Rock Fang on Friday? I mean, I'll, I'll play with him, but I'm not going to, like, use him the whole night. <laughs> I still got to pull out my Brian, too, you know? I can't just leave Brian uh, in the dust. Otherwise, I'm just going to get obliterated by, uh, by Re. If he's playing. But, yeah, I mean, I'll... I'll pop on some Fang. I probably need to practice a little bit more with him to actually learn some uh, decent moveset, you know? Decent moveset of his, maybe a few combos or something. Otherwise, I'm just going to be playing with, like, poking <laughs> and, and the fundamentals, which is fine, too. I mean, that could be fun in some way. Just going to make it a lot tougher. But yeah, I'll probably check him out. Yo, Artie, what's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you, too. Sounds dirty. It's a bit dirty. It's a little bit, mm, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Guys, go check out Artie, man. He's awesome. He's fantastic. He's playing some Fallout New Vegas. Uh, he's also a big fan of, like, you know, Helldivers. And, and the classics, man. He was playing Castlevania Rondo of Blood the other day. That was fun to watch, man. Those old-school Castlevania games are great. And the music is always so fun to listen to. It's freaking awesome. Am I just taking too goddamn long in here? I gotta get the fuck out of here. I have, like, no time. Come on, land, land, land. Hurry up and fucking land, dude. Wow, I'm literally on the flagpole and I die. That's some bullshit. <laughs> but guys, yeah, go check out Artie, man. He's super cool and chill and, and just fun and funny. Easy to talk to and all that good stuff and play some cool games. Some more Super Mario Sunshine, that's really fun. It was fun to watch him play that, man, because that's like one of my favorite Mario games. 100%, 100, 100. Go check him out, man. He's awesome. Give him a follow. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Lost levels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just vibing after getting hyped from the show. Let's go. You know, it's pretty interesting how people play Mario differently. I usually just run as fast as possible, but you play strategy. If I run as fast as possible, Hot Man Diet, I'm just going to fall off the stage. <laughs> I don't really have a choice here. I have to, like, really know the well level well. I uh, wanted to revisit that game after getting the patch just to stabilize that old game. For uh, for which game? Fallout New Vegas? No, you. No, you. Do, 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 do. So we've gotten to World 3-4. Uh, it's that Bowser's Castle that, that fucks me up. New Vegas, yeah, it crashed on me like three times even with the stability patches. And, uh, that sucks. That sucks. What's the problem with it? Is it just because it's like an old game? Not me. 
paid for the new operating system or something. Did not play the GameCube version, but I played the original version on Sega CD. Oh, you're talking about like old, old school Prince of Persia. Is that what you're talking about, Pengman? I didn't know they had it on Sega CD. Maybe they did. I don't know. They had it on Nintendo and like uh, probably like DOS and all that type of stuff. I've uh, only dabbled in the very, very old ones, but I'll have to give it a shot, man. They look pretty interesting. That's some really good animation for the time. That's like, it still looks pretty, ah, shit, slick for, was it like late 80s when it came out? It's pretty impressive stuff. We okay, not running out of time this time. Why did I take so long last time? It's weird. 1989 version. Okay, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I want to give that a shot. I only learned last month that standing on the pipes prevents the toothy flowers from coming out. Yeah, man. Like, you, you learn something every day, you know? You learn something new. Just gotta keep your eyes open and your ears peeled. Or, or whatever. Modern PC. Like, it would access 2 gigabytes of RAM. Mm. Yeah, that's the, that's the one thing with PC, you know, the combat compatibility issues with some stuff. But hey, what are you going to do? Full time? You thought he was timing your jumps? I actually thought the same thing too, Soul Solace, for a long time. But, you know, since I've been getting more into Mario games, I discovered, yeah, they just don't come out. You just got to experiment. Revoke whoever redeemed first and let me do the real true first. Okay, you got it, man. Joe, you're getting re you're getting revoked. <laughs> How you doing, Rhino? Thanks for stopping in, guys. Go check out Rhino Destructo. He's awesome. He's over there playing some WWE 2K24. You know, just in time for WrestleMania and all that shit. Um, but he's a fan of wrestling. He's a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so he enjoys those games and all that franchise stuff. And you know, horror movie franchise games, DVD, Dead by Daylight, uh, Friday the Thirteenth, all that good stuff. Horror, you know, Resident Evil, Alan Wake. You know, he, he's got you covered. He's, he's good to go, man. And he, you know, he obviously is a enjoyer of these classic Mario games, too. So, definitely go check him out and give him a follow, man. He's awesome. Man. Very, very nice guy. Dude. Yo, Ren, you sound like Kool-Aid when you say, Ooh, yeah. I know I'm going to bust out some walls, man. <laughs> I'm going to bust out some shitty walls. Ah, fucking hell. Okay, I really got to get warmed up. I'm playing like trash. How's it going? It's going pretty good. We're just starting out. Still got to get warmed up here. Yeah, original was Apple II and NES, I think, but then they released it a few later on a bunch of other consoles. I think there might even have been like a remake of it, like a more modernized version where it looks like the graphics of, you know, Sands of Time. I could be mistaken, but I thought there might be something like that. Damn it, not Saber. I am speed. Godspeed you. Thanks for the shouty. Yeah, man. Of course. Uh, three TMNT games coming out this year. It's crazy. They just keep coming. Yeah, it's like the year of TMNT, huh? Whenever I feel dumb, I want to call myself an idiot the way Chris Farley would call himself an idiot. <laughs> yeah, he always seems a bit uh, intense about it, huh? Oh, idiot! <laughs> Something like that. Uh, Chris Farley. He was great. Oh, God damn. Okay, we really got to get warmed up here. I'm just... Not in the zone yet. And you gotta get in the zone. Auto zone. This game. Oh fuck, what am I doing? Quick, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, come on. I can do the jump. Oh shit. The one up. It's such a tricky place for the one up. Okay, better make this jump. Oh, good. Yeah, see, look, mm, they ain't coming out. They ain't coming out. I could even shit in this pipe. I could take shit in here. That's all I want. No, wait, Ren was first. No, it was you. It was you all along, Joe. Mm -mm -mm. Technically, High Midnight was first in chat. And Saber was the first one to say first. And, and I, I don't know how many, how many different ways we want to spin this, but Saber said he typed out first. Hotmail was the first to chat, and Joe was the one who claimed first as a redeem. Whoa, I'm surprised I got out of that alive. Or, like, unscathed. I like that word, huh? Unscathed? Unscathed? I don't get to use that too often, but... Seems pretty appropriate there, you know? 
of vocabulary. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's fucking jump up there, Mario. Man, time for this dog shit. This dog shit game. Ah, fuck. At least I made the jump. Forgot about that Koopa. First. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Yo, Innie Patini, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. Hope your week is going pretty sweet. You're sleepy, lucky. Woke you up, the doggy. And go back to sleep. But I appreciate you stopping by and saying what's up. Oh, God. That almost fell apart really quick. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on. I, gotta, I have to be the master of this by now, though. This, all these replays I'm doing here over and over. Not just this game, but like Mario. But Mario 1, doing the No War Pipe run has definitely prepared me for this. It's like so similar. Pengman raided last time and he thought I was playing the same game. I'm like, yeah, dude, it's uh. Yeah. This is the Japanese Mario 2. Basically Mario 1.5. Mario DLC. Oh, don't get caught, don't get caught. Don't fear the Reaper! Now first, because I'm bullying everybody and just taking it, because I said so. Dude, you're such a bully, man. What the fuck? It's probably from all that WrestleMania you're playing. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. I'm playing like trash. Dude, dude, and he's your favorite prison. Feels good, man. You ain't bullying shit. If you're just more disciplined, I don't know. I'm just still getting my ass kicked here. But yeah, I had to put down Super Mario Brothers 2. I didn't finish it. I got, I got kind of bored of it. <laughs> oh, my God. Rin is the real bully. That's pretty true. That's only because this game is bullying me. I gotta, I gotta pass it forward. What is it called? Pay it forward? Come on. Come on. How many times do I have to die? <laughs> this goddamn shit. I don't ever thought this game was a good idea. There we go. That's what I've been wanting to do. Prefer lost levels as well? Okay, my man. Now we're talking. Finally, somebody with some sense. <laughs> I'm just joking. But still, I'm, I'm saying, you know. This feels like Mario. As soon as I played it, before, except for, you know, I had a little bit of initial, uh, like, uh, whoa, these controls feel different. But then, it, like, the muscle memory kicked back in from all those hours I played the first one. And then I just felt right at home. Like, ah, finally. It just feels so much more fun to play. It just got such a better flow to it, and it's satisfying. You know, it's landing the right jumps and landing on enemies and, and all that stuff. Just, I'm just not a big fan of that pulling shit out of the ground and throwing it. You know? But hey, that's just me. Yeah, Mario, not Doki Doki Panic. Right, exactly. <laughs> that was so stupid. I like, literally slid down the pole and it just doesn't register because I didn't come at it at like an angle. Come at me, bro. I think you made the right choice. Not to say I won't go back to it. I just got kind of sick of it. Maybe I'll play the Super Nintendo version when I do. That way I can just keep continuing and instead of uh, you know having to restart from the beginning. Because it's like if you're not already super clicking with a game and then you have to do the grind, it, it's just it's not fun. I don't mind grinding if the game is still fun at its core, you know, like this, or Cuphead, or whatever kind of shit we played. Lion King, Toy Story, those games were all still fun. And uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 is fine, it's just, just not a, as good. It just doesn't feel right in my head, it's like it's Mario, but it's not Mario. It doesn't feel like Mario. <laughs> But it's still unique in its own way. 
which I give it props to, because this this loses points in uniqueness. The uniqueness, I guess, is the challenge and this, the difficulty and all that, but... Uh, just reusing everything the same, adding no new music, it's it's kind of it's kind of bogus. Know what I'm saying? Mario 3 is the real, is a true sequel, in my opinion, at least. Oh, shit. Get these dick riders off me here. These aren't the good kind of dick riders. Oh, my God. Fuck you. All right, get out of here. Use those invincibility frames. Bum, 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 bum. Mmm. Coins. Uh, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. There we go. Haha, <laughs> you got tricked. Okay, watch out for the Koopa. Okay, cool. I think that's the farthest we've made it so far, yeah? Tonight, I mean. Because I made it to Bowser's, Bowser's Castle a good few times last time. Look at yourself in the mirror, body shaming yourself isn't bullying. It's just bad self-esteem shaking my head. It's Mario, not Doki Doki Panic. Doki Doki Mario 2 is great. I love pulling stuff out of the ground. But maybe you're a gardener. I don't know. Maybe you're a gardener, Joe. Maybe that's your true calling in life. <laughs> Saber, why would I be looking at my body in the mirror when can be looking at your wives in my bed? Damn. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, shit. <laughs> GG's, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> God, I think I'm dying. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is going to be a big springy, right? Yep. Okay, what was the trick? We want to land on the lower one right here. There we go. I don't think this level's too bad. Pretty much World 3 is not bad until we get to the castle, then it gets annoying. Because it does that stupid maze crap, that's the most annoying thing about the Bowser's castles. And to be honest, in the... In the ah, oh shit, I thought I was dead. I was like, even going like, ah! Like, didn't register. Holy paragraph, Batman. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Okay, so this one I think I'm supposed to run underneath is what Binary Man told me. The whole way through. Yep, the flames come out. After this, I don't know what to do. Something like that. No? We go through the middle, maybe? And then up top? It's just the same one. Repeating? Dude, why do those flames disappear? It's so weird. Is it repeating? I think it's fucking repeating. God damn it. You're hungry. Get yourself some protein. Isn't that what everyone does in the bathroom? <laughs> that was a lot of savor. Thanks. What a story. <laughs> Yo, Tuxedo Flask. What's up, dude? How you doing? We got the appropriate Mario emo there. Thanks for stopping in, man. How are you this uh, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, whatever you want to call it? But guys, everybody, go check out Tuxedo Flask. This guy's awesome. He's also a retro enthusiast. He's playing some awesome classics over there. Having a beastly time, dude. It's like always a party over there. I mean, he's got some cool music bopping, all these cool like effects and redeems and shit. You know, he's he's having a good time. We're all having a good time. I'm telling you, he's over there playing like uh, old school shoot 'em ups, like Gradius or like uh, games like Space Harrier. Uh, freaking Contra, Castlevania, Ninja Gaiden, uh, Shinobi, and uh, tons of other games, too. He was playing some Mega Man last night. I think it was a Mega Man 7 or 8, one of those. But, yeah, dude, it's super, super cool. And, you know, he's out there grinding it out as well because uh, uh, these games are tough, man. So commend him for that. But, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Go check him out, guys. Definitely go check him out. When It's when, what day? What? Yeah, you're welcome, man. Thanks for being here. It looks like the night is young. Let's put some damage on this shit. I'm trying, man. Appreciate the work. Of course, of course. I appreciate you stopping in here. 
Yeah, we're at world uh, three, four, because I just left it on, uh, you know, standby. I was like, yeah, I'm not starting over from the beginning. <laughs> That's the only time I'm okay with save states is if you're emulating leaving the, the game paused. Even though I didn't even make make a save state, I just, you know, put it in, in idle mode on my Switch. Um... But that's the only time I want. I think I did that with Mega Man. Just in case I shut it off. Or maybe I wanted to play another game in between the next stream. So I just made a save state so I could come back to it. Alright, how the fuck do we get past this part? This part looks like dog shit. Oh, is that new? It's kind of glitchy too. I don't know what's going on. What? I didn't know it was going to go that far. Son of a dick. I was making thumbnails earlier at work for future potential YouTube movie reviews because I like doing things at work besides my actual work. <laughs> Adobe Express is pretty cool. That's awesome. Going to make some YouTube videos, huh? Some uh, movie reviews. That's pretty cool. Some horror movie stuff or just anything in general. No. Come back. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is a uh, this one's a tough one. I already got a game over. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Blame it on the Bowser castles. Let's just get over there quickly. The goal is not to lose any lives before Bowser's castle. This world, pretty easy. Like I said, you just gotta warm up a little bit. Hitboxes. Let me at them. Let me at them. Who's that? Pup named Scooby Doo? Or not Pup named Scooby, Scrappy Doo, right? Because he always wants to scrap. Let me at them. That's the thing. I don't know if you guys like Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo was, it was, you know, it was an iconic show and everything, but it was also kind of a little boring. Maybe it was just like, it just looked kind of old. <laughs> I remember as a kid I enjoyed pup named Scooby Doo more when they were like the younger versions of them. And we lost Fire Mario once again. Oh, come on. Ah. I thought I pressed it like once more. Scrappy little bastard, right? Scrappy Dappy Doo. He's a little fuckhead. He's kind of funny, but he's also, like, annoying. <laughs> ruh -ruh raggy. I agree. It was kind of boring, like Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, dude, same here. Ren and Stimpy. Because, uh, you know, the, the what is it? That was, like, an older show. Scooby-Doo is from... Is it from the 70s? It sure looks like it with the style, how they're dressed. But, um... Yeah, Ren Stimpy was was great. Rocco's Modern Life was great. A lot of those Nicktoons in general, or the other uh, Cartoon Network cartoon cartoons like Dexter's Lab and all that. He wasn't even a puppy. He had some gland control problem that kept him looking like a puppy forever. Oh, is that the lore? <laughs> is that a true story, Mark? I never heard that one. So he's, also, he's like an old dog. He's just pissed off. I think that's true. He's like um, Scooby's uncle. Scrappy is his uncle. Is that really the lore? I always thought he was just like an angry child. 
angry pup. I guess that makes sense. He's just like, you know, Uncle Elvin or something. <laughs> angry Uncle Elvin. Rocco's Modern Life is one of the best. Dude, that's so wild. Some of that shit. Oh, man. Okay, I'm playing like crap. Some of that shit. I don't know how they get away with it. The innuendos and all that. And Red and Stimpy as well. The shows are kind of wild. That's part of the fun. That's part of the magic. What was I going to say? I really like, like watching Doug. Fuck! Rocco went ham. <laughs> I know, dude. Rocco is definitely one of the best. I was actually watching a couple episodes like a week ago. Where do they show them? Like, legitimately, are they on... Ah, oh, fuck, I know. They must be on some kind of network. Some kind of streaming service. Oh, boy. 3-1. I know, Kels. I know. At least it's not 1-1, one, one, right? As long as we don't reset the game, we'll never go back to 1-1. One, one. Or if we don't go down any of those evil pipes because there's pipes that take you back worlds apparently so we're not going to do that or we're just going to damn well best try ourselves not to guys go check out Kelsey Yee Kelsey Yeehaw as I like to call her she's pretty cool she's pretty awesome she's over there playing some Stardew Valley she's a big fan of the um, you know like either indie or, or like you know cozy kind of relaxing chill games it's just such a chill time cool vibe she was over there playing gas station simulator last time and her little um, you know like PNG avatar is, is herself in like a pixelated form on a Tamagotchi. It's super cool. It's very unique. I don't think I've seen anything like that uh, before on Twitch myself. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, and she's also, you know, an enjoyer of these classics of the Nintendo stuff. Uh, so yeah, go check her out. Give her a follow. You're bound to have a good time. Ay -ay 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 Yo, Pochi Pochi, what's up? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome back. How are you doing? What's ham? Mmm, ham. Let's get Pochi Mochi a shouty too. Let's see what you were playing last time. Skatebird? Oh, I've heard of that. How is Skatebird? Yeah, guys, go check out Pochi Mochi playing some Skatebird and also an enjoyer of, like, you know, some cool Nintendo stuff, Banjo-Kazooie and Mario, all that good stuff. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. We were playing Super Mario Brothers 2, and uh, I was getting a little bit bored of it, to be honest. I might still come back to it. I might just need a break, and I might play the Super Nintendo version over the NES version. Uh, or go back to it again, because I've been going back and forth like crazy. Anyway, I switched over to Lost Levels, which is the Japanese Super Mario Brothers 2. And I'm uh, already having a little bit fun, although this one is definitely a grind in its own right. But this one's lenient in the way that you don't have to have hard game overs. Like, you can just keep retrying from the same world. Which technically you could in the first game as well, like by doing that, like press start and A or whatever trick it was. But yeah, it was like a weird trick. It was a weird trick. This one just lets you do it from the death screen, so it's part of the game. Maybe they didn't know what they were doing back in 1985, you know? They were just like. Maybe they'll somehow know. I guess maybe it would say that like in the instruction manual. That you can restart from the old world. But yeah, this would be really brutal trying to do this without continues. <laughs> do, 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 do. Dude, Nickelodeon overall was my shit. All those classic Nicktoons. Yeah. Oh, Salute Your Shorts. Yeah, like the live action stuff too. Salute Your Shorts. Um, all that. Keaton and Kel. That was some good show. Uh, are you afraid of the dark? Yep, exactly. Exactly. But I don't know. Thank you for the shouty outy. You bet you betcha. You betcha. Lost levels, yep. This is lost levels, Pochi Mochi. SpongeBob Gal. I've never I watched a little bit of SpongeBob. I think it came out like when I was already a little bit older and I don't know. I might have been a bit uh after my time. Scrappy was the villain in the first live-action Scooby-Doo movie, and that is the backstory director James Gunn gave him. <laughs> what? Scrappy the villain? Huh? 
Yo, Bundor uh, 8V, how you doing? Welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. First time chatter, too. Hope you're doing well. How you doing? What's up? What's up? SpongeBob was hilarious. Love that one. I was playing Skatebird. I had my uh, my budgies hanging out with me as I was playing the game. Ooh, budgies. <laughs> that sounds cool. So Skatebird's fun. I never played it. It looks interesting, and I'm a fan of the Tony Hawk games for sure. Have you played the Tony Hawk games? Those are awesome. At least like, you know, the old school ones. And the new one, the new one is pretty awesome too, the one and two remake. That's pretty sick. There's a new SpongeBob movie coming out. Search for the Lost Square Pants or something, and they have promised a naked SpongeBob. <laughs> naked SpongeBob, huh? What in the rule 34 is going on here? Do 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 do. Where the coins at? Where the coins be at? Get me out of here. Down. Gotta line them up. Gotta line them up with my Glock. What if Mario had a Glock? Pretty thugged out. Wait, what? I feel like something was holding. Is there like a rift up there? Why? Oh, I guess he just runs slow underwater. No, it seemed like if something was holding me back. That's weird. But there will be nudity. Something everybody asked for. Naked SpongeBob. I still love watching Keenan and Cal too. It's so dumb. It's still, yeah, I know. Who loves orange soda? Cal loves orange soda. James Gunn before Guardians of the Galaxy before he became the guy in charge of all the DC movies. Is that who made all that stuff? SpongeBob has been naked before though, unless someone wants to add more detail to his spongy form. <laughs> Forgot about all that. This is all that. This is all that. It's kind of like a kid's version of like SNL, I guess. Something like that. Something. Yo, Bundor, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Yeah, welcome on in, welcome on in. Thank you, thank you. This is, this is a tricky one. But like I said, it's more digestible when you when you know you only have to beat four levels at a time. Sexually abuse. Wait, what? All that was funnier than SNL. In some ways, yeah. I mean, there was some good SNL. You know, when they had like Chris Farley on there and all that stuff. Some pretty good. Yo, Groove33, how you doing? I'm doing good. Just uh, making way here in Super Mario Lost Levels. Trying to beat this World 3 3. Been grinding at it for a while. Uh, how you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Everybody go check out uh, Groove33 over there enjoying some retro games and some modern ones here too. Playing Splatoon, playing playing all the good stuff, man. Who were you playing last? So you were playing Super Smash Brothers, right? It was like a mod... Did you say it was like a modded version of Super Smash Brothers 64? Where they, you can get like Conquer. Conquer from Conquer's Bad Fur Day in it. That's, that's pretty cool. <coughs> but yeah, go check out Groove33, guys. Go give them a follow. Yeah, I guess Chris Farley yeah, SNL time period was that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What was that? That was like mid, mid uh, to late nineties or something like that. Oh yeah, when your big Mario cut ch changes things here a bit. Hitboxes. Uh, oh, I think I have to take a hit. Isn't that what Binary Man said? Something like you can't get, pa literally can't get past some of this with. Big Mario, because I don't think he actually can. So we gotta get hit by the piranha. That's probably why it's here. That's pretty bullshit. 
<laughs> See? I have to go all the way underneath in order to trigger the next screen. Can't do that with Big Mario, apparently. Ain't that, ain't that some bullshit. Oh, shit. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Go underneath. Maybe we jump in the middle? What do you think? I don't get why the flames just disappear. Nope, that's still not it. Yeah, I really hate this crap. <sighs> Yo, Matt Smith, what's up? Rent or cake? Like, asking which would you rather have? How about rent with cake? Привет, чувак, как ты там? Добро пожаловать. Все время хорошо тебе видеть здесь. Чувак. It's your son, Matt Smith. All the... That had to be behind the scenes sexual abuse all those Nick show, that nasty fat fuck. Oh, damn, that's, that's terrible. One of those kid actors says Steven Spielberg eats whole bait. <laughs> what? Okay, that sounds uh, insane. Rent on cake. Hey, Gignito, what's up? How you doing? Welcome in. Thanks for stopping in. Guys, go check out Incognito. Incognito 1. Over there playing some Dead Rising. Back to Dead Rising. If, uh, playing some Dead Rising plays... um. Red Dead Redemption, or Red Dead Revolver, I should say, right? The, the, the very first one of the Red Dead series. So there's just some cool games, guys. Go check out Incognito. Maybe based on the stairs we just shoot down. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, if anybody knows the solution to this, feel free to share, because I honestly don't care. This... This is not fun. You always like to see me too? Ah, class, not you, Vox. Spasiba. My daughter. <laughs> Shwaskers asked 69 times. Yeah, where is Crowder? Speaking of which. Hey, uh, I don't know how I got out of there, but I did. And it's cool. Schneider, yes, that fat fuck. About to end Dead Rising, actually. Oh, nice. Are you gonna go back to Red Dead Revolver? Are you gonna play Dead Rising 2 or something completely different? Kelsa Yee, sexual mom. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, he can't help himself. I guess all that stuff about Dan Schneider was the reason he didn't return in Good Burgers, too. Oh, that Dan Schneider didn't return to Good Burger, too? Did that come out? I remember they were said they were, they were working on Good Burger, too. Did that ever come out? Welcome to Good Burger, home of the bur Good Burger. Can I take your order? Die, 
Yeah, you cur. Yeah. Okay, bro. Don't block the pipe. Best. Best go running. <laughs> Can't be both. Krauser's off somewhere nutting on Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Yeah, that or watching some Sarah J. Yes, you my daughter. I'll go back to Red Dead Revolver then after I finish it. I'll most likely start Dead Rising too. Cool. And wasn't there like, what, three or four of those Dead Rising games? Dan Schneider, bad guy. Dan Schneider needs to never return to anything unless it's a jail cell he's never been to. Sounds like it. Si Siberian Wolf. The Siberian Wolf. Do 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 I guess the clouds look a little different in this Mario. That's something. That platform thing is a little different. <laughs> no, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. That's all right. I mean, we need little Mario anyway for the next world. I don't think the game ever did that before. Like where it wouldn't, it would make it a place inaccessible just because you're big Mario. I mean, I expect nothing less from this one. This game is sinister! Kelso, Yi, and Saber sex with <laughs> Like a threesome? All they need to do is come out with a documentary how the kids in all my favorite childhood shows are getting molested in my life. is <laughs> Dude, it's a dark side. It's the dark reality of some of that shit, unfortunately. Humans are fucked up, dude. Uh, yes. What the? Because 3 is not on PlayStation 4. is kind of bad. Is it really? 3 is Xbox only? Uh, well, you're in luck, so there's more of those to come, too. Matthias. Just go with it. He's Matt. We can't upset him. Saber is too hairy. <laughs> Saber is Chewbacca. Saber is a call boy. Where do you know that? Combinations and permutations. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Does it come out faster or did I just take too long? Hairy penis. Conversations turning you on. Why am I the only one being bullied? Call boy. Sauce. 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 Oh, wait, I'm supposed to go underneath. That's right. Soul Souse. All the way, all the way, all the way. Underlay, underlay, underlay. Right. How do we pass this part? Okay, gotta be able to just run off, right? Enough momentum? No. What the fuck, dude? Gotta be able to cross this one, I think. You gotta like run. I don't think you can get enough speed. <laughs> Playing with fire, landing on it that fast. <laughs> no, and one more life. I still gotta face Bowser too. This shit sucks, man. This level is fucking stupid. I hate this level. Mario experts, what am, what am I supposed to do?
okay, he's not coming out because of proximity, right? Control solace. All the way. Let's go. wait. No. God damn. Fucking run out of time too. Go in the middle. Let me go up. There we go. Jump harder. Thank you. <laughs> Bullies get bullied because I'm here. Saber, Kelsa, call it Saber and enjoy. Rhino, go back in your hole. Only Kelsa and Matt are allowed to bully me. They're the only ones powerful enough. Yes, you are slay. <laughs> Damn. It would be crazy if somebody was waiting at a glory hole to get fucked, but instead of getting cock, they got a big old rhino horn. Saber said holes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting to read thing to read to to the Raiders popping in. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy that. How's it going, Mev? Thank you so much for the raid. How you doing, man? Welcome in. Thanks, thank you, thank you. Always a Raider. It's a raid. <laughs> some crazy shit for Raiders. I know, man. They've been uh, they've been savaged and ravaged. How you guys doing? Thank you so much for the raid, man. How was the rest of your stream? I appreciate you. Let's give you a shouty. Everybody, go check out Mep 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 if you have not yet, man. This dude is awesome. He is one. Of, he's one of my favorite streamers. One of my favorite retro streamers in particular. He's a fantastic dude. Great chill vibes. It's always a good time over there, hanging out, playing the the classics, especially some lesser known stuff. Um, what the heck were you playing tonight? Why is my brain? Um, I was I was just in there. That happens all the time. It's like I'll remember later, but then in the moment and just like the fireman game yeah there we go there we go thank you oh uh, yeah he was playing the super nintendo fireman game where you're like running around and putting fires out it looks really cool but uh, i guess it gets pretty tough or something especially towards the end did you finish it because i know you had like some a uh, couple of game overs there but uh yeah guys go check him out he, he's got this really cool effect where it's like uh he looks like he's in the virtual boy world because he's got this filter on so it's got like a red outline with like a silhouette and everything it's it's uh it's really cool uh and you know like i said he plays a lot of cool games whether it's like you know the old school classics or lesser known games like fireman and uh tons of other stuff it was really fun watching him play through tenchu a while back and yeah man it's 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 always a good time on meps channel and uh, all you guys should definitely go follow him like 100 percent, definitely definitely go check him out he's awesome um, and, uh, yeah, if you have to read and run, my dude, definitely go take care of yourself, get yourself some rest, whatever you need to do. But of course you're more than welcome to stay. We'd love to have you here. But, um, and if you guys are new here, uh, just, uh, call me Ren. I'm a variety streamer. I lean a little bit more towards the retro side, trying to uh, catch up on the classics that I missed out on from back in the day. And sometimes revisiting some of my favorites from time to time, you know, games from the eighties, nineties, early two thousands, sometimes some new games here and there. And we do play Tekken eight on community nights, which are usually Friday or every other Friday as well as some Mario Kart eight as well. Um, uh, yeah, so we're doing lost levels just before this, we were playing super Mario brothers Two, the uh, North American release, the Doki Doki one. Um, it's an okay game. It just wasn't super clicking with me. Maybe I'll go back to it, but I needed a break and I switched over to this. this is, I'm enjoying this way more, at least because it uh, feels and plays like a Mario game. But yeah, it's it's pretty tough. It's lenient in the sense where you can re keep retrying over and over from the same world. You don't have a hard game over where it takes you all the way back to the title screen like the other games do. But uh, yeah, it's still pretty merciless in its own way, you know. And uh, grinding here on World Three for a while because uh, that Bowser level, you know those stupid Bowser levels where you got to go through the maze, like you got to run on the different platforms in a certain way. That's the worst part of the, the these old, this like Mario one and this one. But yeah, I mean it's a cool game. It's just a bit too similar to the first one, so it's kind of like more like a Mario 1.5 in my opinion. But uh, yeah, we're still having a good time either way. So yeah, welcome in. Hope you guys enjoy your stay. Everybody go follow Map Map Map. This guy's fantastic. He's amazing. He's incredible. Uh, let me uh, back up here. I gotta catch up on some chat because uh, I know I missed some stuff. Uh, it was a good fun stream. Hell yeah, dude! Did you finish it? Yo, what's up? Uh, P i n r n d. How you doing, man? And Haman Lover, what's up? Eleven and a half hour stream of Fireman. He must have really liked it. The firemen are here. We were talking about spanking. We were talking about a lot of things. Yo, Cupcake Night Zero, what's up, man? Appreciate the lurk. And we got it. It's a me, Ren, Redeem as well. Guys, go check out Cupcake Night Zero. He's super cool, chill dude. He's got, he's got a nice voice, too. He's over there playing Boo Men. I had only recently have heard of this. Is this like a new crazy spooky game or something? Uh, but he plays spooky games. He plays RPGs like Baldur's Gate 3 and a lot of other things as well. Go check him out, man. He's awesome. Uh, yeah, it was an ungodly length for that game so okay so you did beat it but that's awesome if you beat it in one sitting that's pretty epic hello raiders how are you hey raiders welcome not finished yet oh you didn't finish it okay well you must be getting pretty close right yeah of course for the shoddy man bless your heart for for the raid 
Bombshell Boy, what's up? Welcome in. How you doing? Let's give Bombshell Boy a shouty too. You guys, check out Bombshell Boy. He plays a lot of different games, whether it's retro, new. Uh, he freaking a beatbox extraordinaire. He's over there playing Destiny of a Wizard 2, which I'm guessing is uh, CJ's game, right? He plays RPGs. He plays classics, Tony Hawk's games, Jet Set Radio game. Well, it was Bomb Rush Cyberpunk, actually. But guys, go check him out. He's fantastic. What a heartfelt shout out from the bottom of the heart. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I won't leave just yet, but it's past your bedtime. Well, hey, whenever you know you need to go, I totally understand. Um, we'll play. For, we'll be here a while. Uh, good evening, first years. <laughs> That's a good one. Yo, Poe, what's up? Mep lives in the place uh, Nietzsche wrote of, and if you stare at him, he stares back. That's it. Seems like it, man. I, that's that's actually a pretty good, pretty, pretty good description. You get the sense there. But guys, go check out Poe the Raven playing nothing. I like that. It says nothing. Is that actually a game? Or <laughs> that sounds cool. Uh, Poe the Raven he playing some you know some retro games over there too. Games like Sea of Stars, which are kind of like retro inspired indie games. But go check out Poe. He's cool. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we gotta do the It's a Me Ren, I forgot. There we go. Mamma mia. Alright, we'll be Mario for 10 minutes, or at least wear the hat. <laughs> I can't do the voice for 10 minutes, that's too much. Welcome to Hogwarts. I need to be more obnoxious so that I can get praise for being normal for five minutes. That's awesome. That's a good goal to aspire to for. Uh, school for witchcraft and wizardry. You're a wizard, Harry. Boo Men was fun. You played it, Kelts? What kind of game is it? It's a mix of liking it and being so darn close to the end. Yeah, dude, that's that's always tough. It's like you're so close and you just have to do it. You didn't beat it. The game beat him. Oh, man. It's all right. He'll be back. We know Mep. He, he finished those games up. Remember, don't jump in corridor for a level one because they're very dangerous. Modular synth enthusiasts. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Savory, hey, I'm the Hogwarts janitor. Someone has to clean the puke. Ren, you, you are so wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you being here. Harry, looking good. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Obvious Yeti, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Guys, check out Obvious Yeti. She's fantastic as well. She's playing Dark Pictures Anthology in those spooky games. She just went through the... Um, what the hell are those games called? The, uh, the, 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 the Plague Tale games? You know, the one with the, the, with all the rats and stuff. Those crazy games. Those are pretty good. I didn't play the second one, but the first one I enjoyed it quite a bit. Ah, fuck. It's alright, we'll get some more. Um, and she plays a lot of, like, indie games. Games like Inside and uh, Limbo and Little Nightmares. I really like Little Nightmares. That was awesome. And uh, other games as well, man. She's really cool and chill and good vibes, and you're gonna like her. So go check her out. Give her a follow. Do, 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 do. Oh shit. Bom, bom, bom. Boom Man is a horror game where you're burglars and you gotta go in a house and steal stuff, and then monsters spawn. You gotta go in a house, steal stuff, and then monsters spawn. Hmm. Is it like, uh,. Something like Lethal Company? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. No, 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 don't come out. Oh, I took too long. <laughs> I'm just like going down with it. You're welcome for the shouty. Oh, we just got another raid. Holy crap, salt. 86. Yo, thank you so much for the raid. Holy crap. You're awesome. Rosen Star, welcome in. Welcome in, guys. What is going on? What were you playing? What were you up to? I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the raid and bringing your community over here. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That's a classic right there, huh? Man, it's been a long time since I played that one. I gotta, I'm gonna have to replay it. I don't think I even like got the full ending or something. I, I, I guess I didn't play the game right when I played it I, ages ago. So I'm definitely due for a uh, replay sometime, man. I'll probably like it even more this time. But, yeah, Castlevania games are awesome. Hat is so cool. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're just doing a redeem. Somebody redeemed the Mario hat. <laughs> I got weird for 10 minutes. Sometimes I've weird, I've weird on stream, like, the whole time. But, yeah, I appreciate you, Salt. Got everybody go follow Salt86. Uh, playing some Castlevania, Symphony of Night. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me check out your stuffs. Dee -dee 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 -dee. What are you selling? What are you buying? Hey, Matt, and everyone else in here. How did the Castlevania Symphony of Night uh, stream go? Have you played it before? Was it a first time, or you're revisiting it? 
doing some speed runs, doing some some crazy stuff. Do 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 do. Yo, DMS Dante, what's up? Welcome in. Yeah, yeah, playing some Sonic 3D Blast and some of the classic Final Fantasies. So, obviously a fan of retro games. Uh, we are definitely fans of retro games around here. You guys should go check out Salt 86. Yeah, thank you so much again for the raid. I appreciate you. And uh, for you new guys here, just call me Ren and welcome on in. I uh, am a variety streamer. I mostly play retro. Um, I play some modern here and there, but definitely trying to catch up on the classics that I missed out on from back in the day. Like this one, Lost Levels. Uh... It's a pretty tough one so far. I'm struggling, but I'm enjoying it actually more than the Doki Doki version of Mario 2. But, uh, yeah. A lot of first playthroughs over here we still gotta do, especially the, the Nintendo stuff. I didn't grow up with, like, an NES or Super NES. So, yeah, there's the backlog is, is my goodness. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Brian with an I. Thank you so much for the follow. <clears throat> I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wesetry. Mm. Wesetry? Witchcraft and Wesetry. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh, you got a hat redeem too? Try to mix it up? Oh, you also got a Mario hat or what kind of hats? What kind of hats do you do? And if you have to raid and run, I totally, totally understand if you need to get yourself some rest or whatever. But, of course, you're more than welcome to stay and hang out. We'd love to have you here, either way. I just know how it is after stream. You gotta get yourself some rest. But, yeah, thanks again, Salt. Oh, my goodness. I suck at this game, dude. I am not good at Mario games. Do, 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 do. Simply and I is now my second playthrough. It's really casual. I want to get the full 200%. That sounds tough. I, yeah, I've obviously never done that. Is that where the uh, it goes upside down or something? The castle goes upside down? You have a Sonic hat? Wait, today you wore a reindeer hat? That's cool. Nice. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Sonic hat. That's cool. Like with the spikes or is it like just like a cap or something? Yeah, Sonic... Sonic was the one that I grew up with. Sonic, Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. I didn't really play the Marios that much. But I was a little bit too close for comfort there. How many lives do we have? It still doesn't show you how many lives you have on this screen. Yeah, it seems like if you were playing this back in the day, like, uh, well, it wasn't on NES, right? Because it was in Japan only, so on a Famicom. You'd have to, like, not turn it off. <laughs> You'd have to restart all over. And lose the progress of the checkpoints between worlds. Remember, don't walking for a quarter from level one lever. They have monsters and want to inside from the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. How are you feeling about this game, though? It's definitely got a different level design philosophy in the first one. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a philosophy to, like, <laughs> bend you over and rail you from behind is the philosophy of this one. Well, and so I did the the first one not too long ago, and I did, like, a no-warp pipe run, and, and I, you know, I never really played the game that much before. So it was challenging in its own right. It kind of did prepare me for this, but... Um, this is still tough. But this is more lenient in the sense it gives you checkpoints at the uh, game over screen. Whereas the first one, you go back to the title screen, you have to do that trick of like pressing, what is it, like A and start or something for, to get back to the last world. So I did it that way, where you have to basically beat 32 levels in one run. This, oh wow, this would be brutal if it, they didn't give you the checkpoints. But I'm enjoying it, yeah. It's just once I get to this castle part, it's really annoying because I hate those maze parts where you have to like run on a certain order. I really don't like that. I never, I didn't even like it in the first one. Not fun, not fun. Do 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 do. What about you? How you like this game? 
But I, I'm having more fun with this, at least so far, than the Super Mario Brothers 2, the U.S. one, because I'm just not a fan of the design of it. That one's way too different. I like messing around with the debug system in Sonic 2. Oh, yeah, that's right. You could play as, like, all these different little, like, items or badniks or whatever. There's some weird stuff you can do in there. Oh, yeah, it has the spikes. I work at school, so I'm all about crazy hat day during spirit week, so it works for me. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, the spikes. You're freaking Sonic over here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I played the SNES collection, so I was able to save the game. Mm, right, right, right. Yep. The uh, All-Star version does give you the option to... I think even the first game, right? In between worlds, you could save. For all the games. Which is nice. It's convenient. Yeah, if anybody knows the order to get through this part right here, this is the one I'm struggling on. And I normally like to figure it out on my own, but I just don't enjoy this part. It's a lot. Do I go through the top? Do I go to the, from the middle here? Or do I just go straight down? Super Mario is just a classic, but I can imagine that some people might think it's uninspired by today's standards. Yeah, exactly. But it's like if you're looking at it as like the 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 the, the like you know, one of the first like modern day platform designs, like it's it's incredible. You know, it's amazing. It is a bit simple even for Mario standard. Like three took it up a notch. I think three is the true sequel. This this is like a Mario 1.5. This is like a this is like DLC or something. Three feels like the real sequel. Two, obviously, we know it's like reskin, different game. Salat with mayonnaise. <laughs> Nintendo games make math Smith horny. Eight bit games in general, is that true? Oh, what's going on here? I haven't done that before. So we uh, do they all jump up here? Is that it? Now what? Oh shit, I think I did it. We made it to Bowser. Let's fucking go. Okay, where's that flame so I can try to jump over him? No! Oh, I thought it wasn't gonna... Don't tell me it was the last life. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. Okay, now I at least have a, a glimmer of hope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Because now at least I know that part of those invisible platforms that you knock and then you can get through it. That was dumb. That's fine. I know, <laughs> that was dumb. I jumped too early. Bowser's tr tricky silver maze, pretty much. I like game for Nintendo 64 and PlayStation 1. You don't like older? What about Dendi? What about Dendi, Chewbacca? Nothing older? I like those games, too. It's just... I mean, there's just so many generations. I just, I just love the classic games, man. I mean, even modern games are, can be fun. I just feel like they're, they're the ones that are kind of uninspired. A lot of copy and paste stuff. Seems like the indie scene is, is more interesting. Indie scene, VR. Otherwise, you're just getting the same like third-person action RPG game over and over and over again. Or a Call of Duty, or a Battle Royale. Or... <clears throat> now everything's also a roguelike. Or a Souls-like. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ba da ba 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 ba. They should give you something more if you already have Fire Mario, like a one up. That would be nice. Or let you stock it. So I think it was Mario Three that would first let you like. Was that what it was when they could let you stack the items? Like Three really did some good shit. 
pretty. You've been watching this uh, Shogun TV show? No, I haven't. I, I don't really watch TV shows very much at all. I have been watching a little bit of Dragon Ball Z, but that's just because, you know, I got inspired to get back into it lately in general. Dragon Ball in general. But, um, I don't really watch too many shows. It's pretty good. What platform is it on? Boom, boom, boom. These releases make more sense, too, when you consider Japan was about a couple years ahead of the U.S., so when the NES released in the U.S., Mario 1 was already old in Japan, and when it was released in the U.S., so give something new and harder. <laughs> yeah, this one came out in 86, I think, in Japan. And then the Doki Doki came out in, what was it, 80, 88, 89? Same year as Super Mario Bros. 3. Man, Nintendo crew looked at this and was like, yeah, a little kid will definitely get past it. Dude, I mean, that's what I'm saying. This wasn't released in the U.S. That's one of the reasons was if it was uh, apparently too difficult. Apparently too difficult and too too similar. So I think those are the two things. But I guess, you know, for Japanese kids, maybe they're built different. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Dendi, ah, maybe Olympic game. Mm, oops, yes, I like Mario and Street of Rage. Mm, Streets of Rage at the Ocean. Haroshi. Streets of Rage music. Oh, yeah, dude. That music is legendary. Streets of Rage 2 in particular. Absolutely love it. My favorite beat em up of all time. Definitely one of the best Sega Genesis games. It's so replayable, too, man. I could just. Every, every now and again, just pop it in, do a run through, get through it, and just have a fucking blast. Especially if you're doing, like, co op with a buddy or something. Like, me and Rhino just played it back, like, what was it, a few months ago, right? Sometime last year. I think that was his first time playing it. And I was just like, dude, this shit still... This shit still rocks, man. This shit's bopping. That music, too. Rogue-like TMNT on its way to consoles. Oh, here we go. There we go. Where's the souls like? <laughs> Turtles game. Titles. Titles. Come on, get out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. We're gonna have to lose this at the castle anyway, because apparently you can't be Big Mario there. This music's so nice. What the piss? Dude! I must have pressed it like a millisecond too late. <laughs> The jump button, I mean. Contra Hardcore, too. I gotta play more Contra games, man. I've never beaten a Contra game. Those look pretty tough. Oh my... Dude, why am I losing all my lives here? I'm playing like an idiot. Mario World, yo, the captain. What's up? Welcome in. How you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Kids back then had to play side scrollers because they had to. Yeah, they had no choice. Feel like games were really just made for adults back then, or just like you, I guess that's how you make your money's worth is to make it last. Apparently, something like that. That's why they have those grown men crying over Donkey Kong scores <laughs> this day. That's true. Yeah, your Billy Mitchells and all them. Oh yeah, I forgot this was made for Asian kids. There you go. We all know Asian kids are overpowered. They're OP, man. Siege of Rage is cool. That's true. I never played Contra Hardcore Two, but I want it. Mm. Oh, I'd play a Souls like TMNT. Sounds fun. Yeah, you play anything on freaking TMNT. First Dead Rising was also made in Japan, I believe. Made in Japan? What do you mean? I mean, it's a Capcom game. It's a Japanese made game. I don't know if it's worth it trying to go to the castle now. With these no lives. Oh, shit. Let's do it anyway, you know? Just to get the practice. Never give up. Never surrender. <sighs> I did it again. Alright, whatever. I guess that's actually good. <laughs> How many are we at? Like a hundred over a hundred deaths already? Jesus Christ. Dude, do 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 that's why it's kicking my ass. Yeah. Is it tough? Is that a tough one? I don't know how I feel about uh, that Streets of Rage with the kids on rollerblades. That character's evidence of how hard Sega was pandering to the cool. It was the 90s. What can I say? You know? Like early 90s coming out of the 80s. Hey, that's how it is, you know? 
Japanese like that, that American coolness, that edginess. They seem to like it. Or, uh, I don't know. I saw reviews from AVGN, he said it was a great game. For, uh, which game? Contra? Yeah, Japan kids are smart. We nuke them twice. Damn. They want to make sure their kids are smart enough to not let that. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's get this shit up here. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. We ain't dead yet. Fire Mario. Incoming. Fire Mario. There we go, there we go. Hot potato, hot potato. Get out of the way. You too. And all y'all. Oof. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> that was a good angle where I actually got some pretty good height. <laughs> Oops. AVGN said Contra Hardcore 2. Very cool game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ABGN seems to like the Contra. I mean, I know he has his qualms about it with the difficulty, but, you know, I guess we all do. This Contra games are wild. I know, man. I've always known about them. I've, I've tried them, but I'm just like, back in the day, like, oh, this is too brutal. As a kid, I couldn't tolerate something like that. Now that I'm older and more sadistic, I'm willing to try it. <laughs> I mean, masochistic. Maybe sadistic, too, by making you guys watch it. Watching me make myself suffer. Big dummy, but thanks, AW1. Oh, let's get out of here. Did you beat this one, AW1? Something, I don't know. Maybe it's just too deep. The pressure is just killed Mario at that death. <laughs> yeah, apparently he doesn't have any problems of breathing underwater. Yeah, there it holds his breath. Oh, what the fuck? That's weird. I remember the first time I played a Contra game and I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. That's basically the Contra experience. What the fuck? What happening? Mm -mm. I play, only played first Contra from Sagan. Yeah, those games are tough. At the Ocean Trudni. Igra. Speaking of nukes, did you ever hear about the times we accidentally dropped nukes 25 times more powerful than the ones in Japan on Greenland or the two we dropped in North Carolina? No, I don't know anything about that. But I know I dropped a nuke in my toilet after Taco Bell. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of what they're based off of. At least like the cover art. And I think, what was it? Uh, Metal Gear was the cover of Kyle, with Kyle Reese from Terminator. So there's some plagiarism going on here. <laughs> I don't know what's, what's going on over there. Taco Bell nuke Baja <laughs> Blast. Kinda, yeah. It was a Baja Blast. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're almost... <sighs> Dude, that's such a bogus place for that to be in. So bogus. Kyle Reese from Terminator. Yeah, Kyle Reese. Mm -hmm. Metal Gear. Be One of 
the two North Carolina are still there. Somehow one of the six fail safes on um, both nukes stayed in place. So they didn't detonate. Damn. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. We finally made it. Now I'm just going to have to recreate what I did. Which I don't even know what the hell I did. Okay, we go under here. This is when it gets a little crazy. What did I do? Was it like... Okay. Then did I jump? Ugh, why did I... I don't know why I did that. Ah, uh, true, he's a very similar guy from Germany. Mm-hmm, fortunately enough. Okay, uh, down. Right, keep going, keep going, keep going. But then what did I do? I think I just kept going up, right? Is it okay to go on the step? There we go. Okay. Ugh, okay, fine. There we go. Permanent progress. Made it to World 4. Let's go. That only took forever. <laughs> Four one. Mm -mm. World four hype. Let's go. Okay, let's see what's different here. It's like the same shit, <laughs> the same music. Oh, dude, they have red piranha plants. Oh my god, it's lucky. I was, I was waiting for it. I'm like, where'd the lockatoos? I know they're coming. I know they are coming. Can't touch me from here. Can't touch me from here, sucker. Your time. Is this a uh, uh, what? Oh, I have to do a run jump. Four one permanent progress. I like it. Just don't let the switch die. <laughs> That's all. One parachuted and was hanging from a tree and it's easy to recover. The other buried itself 25 or four more feet in the ground and were only able to retrieve the nuclear head and left the rest because they got tired of digging and just put a fence around the side. It says nuke landed here. It's very to stay out. That's crazy. I put words together incorrectly in a sentence. I sometimes don't use translator. You mean contra? Uh, and they made sure nobody would dig there, but farming is allowed if anybody wants to farm into a very <laughs> Yeah, it makes for some good soil, huh? I do the same thing when I speak Spanish. It really lets some of uh, the parents that I know I call that I'm trying my best. Hey, there you go. You know, that's all you can do is try. All you can do is try. Can't ask for more than that. So, good on you guys. Wait, do these red ones come up even regardless if you're nearby or not? I'm curious. Let's see if it comes out. Oh, it still doesn't come out. 
they come up faster, it seems, maybe. I don't know. Trick me, dude. That's some troll shit right there. If I've ever seen it. Oh no. Poison. Poison. Get me out of here. Oh shit. Nice. Uh -huh. It's in this one. Mr. Lucky too. Die. Ah. Come here. There we go. Get rid of him for a bit. Okay, this is the end of the level. It's gotta be. It's got a Goomba. Oh, okay, it is. All that was during the Cold War. We found out Russia had so many nukes that they could destroy all our nukes at once, so we would wouldn't be able to return nukes. So every, somebody suggested we always have a plan. The year with nukes, we would be able to nuke return fire. Yeah, man, they're getting pretty nuked out back then, huh? Oh shit! Dendy. So it feels like makes you feel invincible. You wanna feel the fire, you wanna feel the power. Let's go. Oh yeah. Ability frames. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, we're gonna have to get up there. Where am I jumping? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so far not too bad. I want to insade from the Vuki of Girl Vaginas? What? Stop. What? No, no, no. I want to. Fuck Vuki Vaginas. <laughs> this game trolls so hard, it's kind of funny. But yeah, it's true. It does troll. With all the the, the, the the mushrooms that either shrink you down to back to small Mario, or they'll kill you if you're small Mario, if you get it. Dude, where am I jumping? Okay. Just got fucking blind jumps. Okay, we knew that platform was going to go down. This is like a teeter-totter. If it if this one sways left to right, it should be stable. Well, you never want to assume, but at least... What the fuck? He's <laughs> just like jumping blind. <laughs> Gotta jump on the Koopa. Oh, almost to the castle already. So the U.S. ordered 12 of those planes to continuously loop around the U.S. armed with two nukes for like 12 years straight or some shit. Damn, really? I want nuclear weed. <laughs> nuclear weed. We uh, only accidentally dropped like 12 of them or something. I don't know. The U.S. is pretty careless of their nukes. That's fucking wild. Russian girls, soldier, very sexy. Yeah. You like some sexy soldier girls? Has anyone been watching that Fallout TV series? Not me, but I've uh, I've heard it's pretty good. Like, honestly, I, I'm not really into the Fallout series. Uh, I just never really played them. Um... Oh, yeah, I've heard from a few people that it's surprisingly pretty good, pretty decent. What about you, Saul? You like it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's good, it's good. It's so good. Alright, this is a bit of a tricky jump 
here. Uh, yeah. <sighs> it's like the hardest part <laughs> of this whole world. Up until the part I died. Had a game over, I mean. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ah, that was stupid. You played this one map? Did you finish it? Watched the first and half episodes. Haven't played Fallout, though. I'm wondering if I'm missing anything. Hmm. See, I'm actually... Well, how do you like it from that perspective? I kept seeing that Fallout trailer and wondered why Deadpool looks slightly different. <laughs> Somebody that looks like Deadpool. I guess this is like precursor to Kaizo Mario. Dude, those mechanics aren't that good for the jumping spring thing. I hate that I had to do it in that, in that manner. same spot. What an asshole. I don't want to risk falling into the pit. In the pits of doom! The A plot of the show is fun. The B plot has a lot of world building that isn't as intriguing. So it does it feel like more like filler? Sounds like that's what it might be. I want only girls to fight and the guys sat at home and smoke weed. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, that's an interesting perspective. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. After a while, man. The same music. Let me guess. <gasps> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. What a surprise. <laughs> What's even crazier about the U.S. dropping nukes on the U.S. is mostly nobody in the U.S. has ever heard of anything at all about it. It sounds pretty crazy. The B plot is unnecessarily filler. It's just too much to digest, and the show is just over one hour long. It's work to watch if I haven't had a nap. <laughs> it's like, get a focus. Maybe, maybe I don't know if you, if you knew about the show. Like Maybe that's, it goes alongside that. It'd be easier. I don't know. I, I mean, if you played the game, is what I mean to say. Uh, Snoop Dogg says, smoke weed every day and everybody do it. Snoop D-O-double-G. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what are we doing? We're jumping onto a Koopa, I think, right? Oh, I had it. I had it. I think I didn't come in enough to the right after the bounce. I don't know. It's okay. Real life is the cra- Yeah, dude. It's stranger than fiction. Yes! I can go into that platform. Shouldn't fall. Are we gonna get on? <laughs> it trolled me, man. Uh, I had to know it was a mushroom and then just jump right on the other side. Not the right side, because the platform's moving to the left. Jump! <sighs> why, did, why was it so high up? still the trickiest one for me. That jump. <laughs> nice jump, yeah. <laughs> Very nice jump. Watch it, watch it. Okay, maybe I gotta... Okay. I think I see the problem. I might have been pressing it too early. You gotta really watch the spring compress and then jump. I did not hit her. It's not, not true. true. It's, it's bullshit. bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, oh shit. Oh, hi, Mark. No. Forgot about that. The Mario. Come on, guys. Do the Mario. Don't die, don't die. Are you serious? He throws it exactly when <laughs> I'm landing. Ain't that some bullshit? Okay, we got a Goomba. We got a Goomba on the Roomba. I did not. Hi, Joe. Unclassified documents revealed one of our first ideas when we found out rockets could reach the moon was let's nuke it. <laughs> Second was let's put nukes on it and nuke other countries. Nukes everywhere. Duke nuke them, baby. Duke nuke em, baby. Hail to the king, baby. Time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. Time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of ass. Ass! Okay, that's, that's a weird spot to be in. That's a fucking weird... Now I can't go back. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone this way. Why is this slippery down here? What the fuck? to run across. Oh, what? I press jump! What is this? Is this like some fucking emulation delay or something? Fucking press jump, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh! You gotta do a better running jump there. Nuclear vagina. Did I... Did I make a death on that one? I don't think I did. 
it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> then it does. too early, but it's okay. Jump! I was jump. I feel like it was our government's project paperclip Nazi guys that were shouting, "Let's nuke everything." Maybe. Let's nuke vagina. Feel my ass. <laughs> hey, you know, whatever floats your boat. like a different jump. Nuke the vagina, yes. Yeah, sink it with my flesh torpedo. <laughs> Go away, chick. Go away, chick. Alright, 4-3. We gotta beat this one. taking me. I don't trust it. But. Okay, we can just do a running jump from this thing. Because I don't need what's in there anyway. Okay, I think it's the farthest I've made it, so that's progress. Okay, where are we going? It's going to be a falling platform, but. Oh, what the f Oh, wow! That is such bullshit. <laughs> that was such bullshit. I did, ran to jump on the platform at Bull Bill came right in my path where I was jumping into. Fucked up my, my landing. I wrote incorrectly, let's nuclear vagina. Nuke penis. Dude, okay. One, I didn't know they were going to give me a checkpoint right ne by next to it. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> what 
is that? Guess what? Game over. Matt Smith, if the of Buffina. Them fat bottom girls make the rockin' world go round. That's right. Vagina was radioactive, you would still. You still. Would you still? Matt Smith, probably. Matt Smith doesn't fuck around, dude. You kidding me? Shit he's into? Mm -hmm. right, so wait for the spring to go all the way. Okay, cool. We're getting a little bit more consistent here now. That's good. Son of a bitch. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Predator, that's a good one, huh? I forgot to get that fire Mario. <laughs> He's just one of my pal. It's your fault, sucker. Abakin up a feeling in my bones, not to make my system blow. Welcome to the new age. Choose a new age. Redirect the pussy sounds like a cool punk band. <laughs> yeah, you're probably not wrong. It might already exist, for all we know. Just don't forget to do the Mario. the biggest son of a bitch for real. <laughs> Radioactive pussy bitch. Yo, welcome back, Kenny Bittini. Just in time to see you die. I mean, you can come back and hours later it's still gonna be doing that. This this one ain't this one ain't no cakewalk. Not to say the other ones were, but this one seems like it's purposely made just to Potato, kartoshki, kartoffel, potatoes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. No, 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 no. I really should turn you into Fire Mario. Just big Mario. Is that is what I like to call bullshit. Potatoes, Liza Potatoes. I'd uh, go to a radioactive pussy show. I like the Lords of Acid. They like to show me their. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Say what now? Okay, I gotta stop doing that. Screwed by the 
this guy. There should just be a fuck lag pull over here, right? Yeah, I see it. levels, baby. It doesn't mess around. Can't wait to see the Bowser Castle of this one. Okay, that's right. We gotta refocus here. Like on that jump to long jumps, so I'm trying to make it to the like very tip. <laughs> Just the tip. Thank you. Okay, so when do we, we want to hit this one? It goes the other way. Do the shroom power up. Thank you, Any Patini. We definitely gonna need the power up here. Power up. Thank you. We're all powered up and ready to go. Radioactive mushrooms. Are these platforms supposed to be made of mushrooms? I don't know. I mean, that's like another one of those small differences that wasn't in the original. They didn't look like that. Yeah, I don't know. They look like mushrooms to me, too. Oh, that's the same thing. I thought it's a bunch of small little mushrooms. Little... Dude. Do I have to use the bullet bill to jump off of it? Because there's just something fucked up about that spot. Jump off a of bullet bill in midair. God damn it, dude. Uh, it's getting tough. Show me you me show me you pussy show it to me. It's a Lord's of Ass song. It's an all female band. Sometimes you've asked nicely at shows, they will show it to you. <laughs> damn. Radioactive mushrooms. Mario sure loves his shrooms. Lords of Acid. Mm, yes, great band. Near Clearly the platforms take this game to another level. Yep. No joke. Take it to another level. Except, uh, not always the best one. <laughs> Take me to the level of hell. But, like I said, beating it in four level chunks isn't as bad. It's not too shabby. Two is Super Mario Brothers Three. This is Mario One Point Five. Mm. And Super Mario Brothers Two is Mario. I don't know. Negative one. I don't know. <laughs> they need a two D Mario with a Mario Kart power up. And what's the first Mario Kart game? I was on Super Nintendo. Right?
Move your ass. Firepower. What? Oh, and now I'm not gonna be Fire Mario. I'm just gonna go back to what I was. Uh, that's so fun. What the? I jumped too early. I guess I didn't jump high enough. I think Mario Maker might have that. Really? Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know. That's cool. Mario Kart to ride through levels in. That's interesting, yeah. I check it out. Yo, Skytron! What's that? How's the Mario going? Oh, it's going, man. This is the lost level. This one's tricky, dude. This is the Mario 2 in Japan, but wasn't released in the U.S. until it was added to the uh, Super Mario All-Stars and the Super Nintendo as Mario Lost Levels. But uh, let's give uh, let's give Skytron a shouty here. Yeah, good to see you, man. How are you doing? Guys, go check out Skytron 100. Um, he was over there playing Morbid the Seven uh, Morbid the Seven Acolytes, which is, I guess, like a 2D-style Souls-like game. It had some pretty nice atmosphere. It seemed like a pretty decent game. How are you enjoying that? You still liking it? But, guys, check out Skytron. He's awesome, man. It's always a good time chatting with him. It's so, so cool and you know, easy to chat with and, uh, <clears throat> you know, fun to have conversations about games. And he's, you know, got extensive knowledge of games. And, you know, uh, he loves the good stuff. You know, Metal Gear Solid, Tenchu, which is how we met. Uh, Tenchu Stealth Assassins from the PlayStation 1 and 2 era. And uh, yeah, tons of other games. He's a fan of JRPGs, Final Fantasy games, uh, just all sorts of stuff. He was playing Resident Evil like a while back. Uh, that was fun because it was the first time him playing the remake. And uh, yeah, tons of other games too, man. Armored Core, Souls games, everything. So go check him out. Go give him a follow. He's awesome. Also a fan of Tekken too, which you know Tekken is dope. Yeah, give him a follow. Thanks for the, of course, man. Sent you for life. You know it. It's almost time for another replay. I think within the next couple months, I'm probably going to replay Tenchu 1. I like to do a run every year. Maybe I'll do like some kind of challenge run on it or something. Like no items or deathless or shit. All Grandmasters or something. I don't know. The first one, at least. Because that's my, my favorite and most nostalgic. But hey, maybe I'll play some of the other ones, too. Yeah, how's your uh, how's your day going? Are you serious? I thought by then it wouldn't come out. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. I say. Don't hit it. Okay, round three. You will eventually become Fire Mario one day. One day, one way. Okay, four three. This is the, this is the trouble one. It's the one with the long jumps, blind jumps, all kinds of jumps. Like this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Wait, we don't need to go down there. But we can get big Mario. To do. Your heart. Nice. Okay. Okay, this one. I'm gonna run. Jump immediately. Oh, fuck. It fucked me up. It fucked me up. It was like I visually got messed up with the bullet bill, but I hit that, that platform. It didn't go over it. Oh. Okay. There's like a, a gap. Yeah. God damn, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, this level sucks. <laughs> Yo, Necro G, what is up, dude? Thank you so much for the lurk. I really appreciate you. Let's give Necro G a shouty. Necro G, shouty. How you doing, bud? Guys, go check out Necro G. This dude is awesome, man. He's taking off. He's going places. He's fantastic. He's over there playing Jackbox Party Packs. Uh, but he plays a ton of retro games. You know we love retro games. At least I definitely do. And he's over there playing the classics. Because what's cool about his channel, he has like a, a redemption that you can, you know, uh, bring up a poll where people can vote for whatever game, whatever, whatever, you, whatever you want. You know, whatever game. If it, uh, you know, gets enough votes, he ends up playing it. And uh, yeah. It's pretty awesome. So he's playing a lot of the classics. GoldenEye, Conquered Bad Fur Day, the Donkey Kong Country games, uh, you know, 
wrestling games, a lot, of, a lot of mostly retro, but he plays, you know, new stuff too. And like I said, it just really depends. But beloved Bubsy, last time we raided into him, we finally got to win Bubsy, and that was really fun to watch. And he's just such a cool dude, great vibe, super charismatic guy, super funny. He's a rapper, which is super interesting and unique. And he does a fantastic uh, impersonation of Macho Man Randy Savage and, you know, wears the costumes and all that stuff. So it's, it's a great time, man. It's a good show. You guys are going to love him. Go check him out. Go give him a follow. <clears throat> Bullet Bills always get the kills. <laughs> Kill Bill, baby. Kill Bill. Hello there. For the third time today, the Ninja Turtles talk was really nice. You know your stuff. Yeah, he, he's... Hey, every time I shout him out, I gotta say that you know he's a big Turtles fan. <laughs> so, no joke in that department. Ah, oh, we, we gotta get up higher. That's, that's the, the way we to go. There. I think that jump is possible, but I gotta aim to... Game over again. Okay. Um, what I need to do is don't get overexcited and stay on that lever to make it go down and then jump on the other one so I get higher platform. I should make that part easier. So that's what I'm going to aim to do next time. It was indeed Turtle Power. What's your favorite turtle game? Definitely, you know, like, I would have said Turtles in Time, but that's not the one that I grew up playing in, because nostalgia is is supreme. Um, it's going to be Hyperstone Ice. But, you know, they're, like, basically interchangeable. It's, like, the same graphical style, even similar bosses and stuff. Turtles in Time definitely has more going on in it. So, I don't know. They're, they're, they're kind of interchangeable. Like I said, it's just because I grew up on... Hyperstone Heist. Fire Mario's back. Rhino Fire Mario's back. Shredder's Revenge is pretty awesome, too. But, you know. Yeah. Suckers. Brother Suckers. Any secret pipes in here? No. Back. It's okay. Cowabunga indeed. First TMNT on NES was it for me? Also a masochist. Yeah, I, like I said, I you know when you popped in here, I missed out on a lot of the uh, some of these like Nintendo ones. So I, I never played that one until a little while ago when we were doing games off the Cowabunga collection. I was just trying it out for a bit, and yeah, it seems seems a little whack. That's for sure. <laughs> I'll have to give it more of a proper go in the future. Is that bullet bill still coming? No. He gone. He, he gone. What just happened? Uh, Dab Grabber, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Good to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Zone Heist is faster. Like, actually faster. I think it has less levels. I don't know. But either way, I love that game. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just got the vinyl of Shredder's Revenge. I hadn't had a chance to listen to it yet. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. You collect uh, vinyls? They just keep getting better and better. I have the most nostalgia for the original arcade. I think original Turtles in Time and Shredder's Revenge all top each other. That's fair. TMN3, Manhattan Project is probably my favorite. I think that's the one my brother and I played the most. Which one is that? Manhattan Project. What platform was that on? Was it on the NES? Better and better. I only speak of the 2D side-scroller or TMNT games. They have yet to make a good 3D. Well, I guess that's fair, you know? That's interesting. Coming even from whoops. God damn it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, and a death. I lost Fire Mario, and then I died. <laughs> I shouldn't have died there. That's, that's right at the end of the level. That was dumb. Wow. 
what? Mm. Weird hitbox. Oh, come on. I'm only on the first level. Of the four. And game over. Better and better. I just started picking up vinyls, but I just had to buy a car, so I need to put a pause on collecting. I have a teacher salary after all. <laughs> right on. That's understandable. You can always get them later. That's the first time I jumped right through that. that jump. I should have jumped on the pipe, man. I should have jumped on the pipe. Manhattan Project was the third NES game I got to play through it someday. Somehow I missed out on that game. Yeah, I'm just not familiar enough. Nothing will ever top Turtles in Time on SNES for me, especially the soundtrack is absolute timeless, but objectively Shredder's Revenge has more fleshed out mechanics. More, yeah, I mean if you compare it, but you wouldn't have that if it wasn't for Turtles in Time. Because for me, when I look at games... It's always the context of, of a time period and, and the, the impact that it had. It has to go into effect. But yeah, at face value, sure. It has Shredder's uh, wrench has more content and more fleshed out mechanics, as you said. For sure. Come on, come on, hurry up. Come on. Tenchu fans might remember Onikage. Come on. I think because it came out on NES when I was already out of SNES. Mm, so it's kind of like last gen, and you're like, eh. I kind of feel that way about the OG TMNT arcade, even though Turtles in Time topped in just about every way. Right, yeah, that's another. Makes sense. Yeah, you'll like that one. I like the special move the Turtles have, especially Raphael. I hate when the special moves... I, I know, they always did that in those old-school beat-em-ups. That shit was... I got old. I like how they did it in um, Streets... Was it Streets of Rage 4? The special move takes away health, but it's like kind of like... Um, kind of like a Tekken, where you can re-earn the health back if you get consistent hits. But if you get hit again, then you do lose it. Like, before you, have, before you earn it back. So that that's okay. That adds a little bit more, you know, depth and it's more interesting and a little bit more fair than rather than just like, oh, oh, maybe use a couple special attacks. Oh, there goes my health. It's all gone. <laughs> like that. That's bullshit. Never liked that about beat 'em ups. There we go. Does it do that in that game? In the game, Joe? Nostalgia is strong. I totally understand. <laughs> One Kage with his fucking endless kick combos, right? Guy's a dick. And he keeps coming back, too. I swear, he's like the real boss of the, the franchise. Not just Tenchi 1. He does seem more fair. Right. Yeah, it takes away life, and you can use them all you want then when your health is at its lowest. That's, well, that's fine. What a strange floor in the which is thrown there. Okay. This one is the tricky one. So gotta do what I, yeah, I gotta do this for the other one with the bullet bill too. Thank you. Okay, let's get big Mario. Let's get big juicy Mario. Okay. This is the bullet bill jump, right? Okay. Oh, he's not there. Okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. There we go. 
Okay, we got a platform that's gonna fall. There we go. That's the farthest I made it. I'm trying to go up here. Right there. Oh, wow! Oh, that's so trolly. Because you gotta, like, get momentum to go there. I guess what? You gotta jump on the turtles to do it the best. That way you can get the height. Yo, Ren, would you like to see a new Superman made game made? I'm not really a fan of Superman, to be honest. I think he's just too too vanilla, too plain. But, I mean, god damn. If it's a good game, I might still check it out, but I'm, I'm just not the biggest Superman guy. My brother and I used to, used to have game GD all the time on those old Turtles games that have infinite special moves. Probably made it more enjoyable, huh? Dick. It's a dick! There's still a bunch of cool beat em ups coming soon. G.I. Joe, Toxic Crusader, Jane Silent Bob, Blunt Man, and Crony. <laughs> yeah. There's some good beat em ups out there, modern day. Wasn't the biggest fan of Scott Pilgrim. It was, it was, it was alright. It was fine. But it was just, it was just kind of missing the, the pizzazz. But I think Streets of Rage 4, Shredder's Revenge. Those are very good. By the way, nice art. Spasiba, Chulak. Spasiba. I need a Game Genie for the Manhattan Project on the Kawabunga collection. It's the dick. Kawabunga, dude! the farthest I've made it, so at least that's something. Progress is progress, no matter how small. <laughs> Yahoo! Mamma mia! off the screen for a bit, you know? Cool, cool, cool. Alright, here's the Troublemaker level again. Teenage Ninja Girls Turtles. look like I'm gonna hit it, but then I still do. It's so weird. You just have to have faith. Okay, bullet bill jump. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, how do we do this without this? It's like I gotta anticipate the bullet bill coming. You don't even know what, what level it's going to be on. Ah, oh, this is so bogus. There it is. Oh, I think you can make it. It's just really tight. Really tight squeeze. I just have to do better on the seesaw part up here first. It's because you get so much momentum from that. It's easy to... Slip right the fuck off. That's the problem. 
Okay, I'm trying to remember what was what was the issue here. Oh yeah, that's right. <clears throat> we gotta get in there. No, I don't want to do up the Koopas. I can do it without it. Whew. There we go. First time making it to 4-4. Four, four. You guys have to grind to level up too much in Scott Pilgrim, but those guys went on to make Shrunners eventually. Yeah, the grinding part. I was like, eh, I'm, I'm good. I heard that there was a last Ronin movie in the works. Yeah, yeah, and, and a game too, but then was like kind of put on hold, but now maybe it could still be good because of the movie. Rated R, live action, possibly directed by Zack Snyder and all the good and bad that goes with that. Now I just need to figure out if I want to read the comics before or after seeing the movie. I'd probably do it beforehand because then you'd kind of know if it like, lives up to it. At least that's what I would do. I still haven't read it. I do have it. Oh, shit. That's a big one. That's a big ups. Obviously, we can't do them all. Cowabunga, dudes. That's a big one. Dude, they keep, man, they keep coming back. Or is it just because I scrolled further? Okay, so we gotta do run. It's a little tricky. Go here, let it sink. Okay, oof. Fucking hammer, bro. Oh, man. I can't stand these guys. Fucking timer now. Oh, god damn it. Uh, I knew they were going to pull some Hammer Bro shit out here. <laughs> god damn, dude. Oh, god damn, dude. Oh. Oh, they're the bo world's most fearsome sexy team. Mm-hmm. Ugh, this streamer. Ugh, Rocket Kev. Rocket Kev's here. I'm ending stream, guys. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. How you doing, Rocket Kev? How's your stream, man? How's it going? How you doing? Playing that retro. What were you? Were you playing some more Pokemon Stadium today? I think were you? Guys, check out Rocket Kev, man. He plays all the cool retro games, whether it's Pokemon Stadiums or uh, some PlayStation One classics like Metal Gear Solid, Tenchu Stealth Assassins. We were talking about that earlier. Uh, you know, Zelda: Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. Tons of other stuff. What's cool is also he does like he'll watch you know cartoons. We were talking about cartoons earlier. Like he'll be watching Dexter's Lab and all that stuff on there. So he's got some cool vibes, man. He's a super chill, humble dude. And he's got this whole crazy thing going on with Elmo. You know, Elmo tickle my tickle tickle me, Elmo. I mean, you just you got to go see it to believe it. You know what I mean? But go check him out and go give him a follow. <laughs> Dexter Dad doesn't give a fuck. That's basically the name of the game, dude. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe that's what I should change my, my gamer tag to. Dexter's dad doesn't give a fuck. Dexter's dad don't give a fuck. I think that's a pretty good one. That's right, Matt. No fuck. Uh, let's see here. Game put on hold? Never. I didn't hear that at all. It just takes way longer than execs think it's supposed to take to make video games. Uh, do you care about spoilers in this game? Uh, it really depends. Right now, I, I, I'm trying to just figure it out on my own. I'm not trying to do any like you know stacking crazy uh, one-ups or anything. Um, if I like hit a brick wall, then I'll definitely ask for help. Because in that previous world, that Bowser's Castle, when it was in that maze where you have to like you know keep going and you have to jump on a certain level, that one I was like asking for help, but nobody knew at the time, so I just kind of stumbled my way into it. Still figured it out, <laughs> but for now I'm okay though. Let's try to do it without any tricks. When the evil Shredder come back, these turtle girls don't cut him. No fuck. That's right, man. No fuck. Erg, this this rocket, this yes, still working on it. Rocket penis, Dexter Dan <laughs> doesn't kill. That's right. That is right. That is the name of the game. Did you play this, Kev? You played Lost Levels. This game is. This game doesn't like me. Tricky one. 
This is a tricky one. No, we don't want to be trapped in there. Stops attacking for a bit there. Okay, this one's easy. Yo, Ren, as a kid, do you wanna be? Do you wanna be like Mike? Might have to. <laughs> Everybody wants to be like Mike. Oops, no, come him to fuck. <laughs> Every time, every time you go into Rocket Kev's stream, you gotta say, "Oh no, not Rocket Kev leaving." <laughs> I know, something like that. <laughs> Basically, I have to do it. <laughs> yeah, I still gotta play Kevin Tech at some time. He challenged me, so he'll give me five gifted subs if I beat him. But if I lose, I gotta make him a mod. So I'm like, alright, you're on. But I said, if I'm making him Kev my mod, I'm just quitting Twitch. <laughs> Might as well quit Twitch. Grab your friends. Maybe it's not a spoiler since it's in the instruction manual, but it's more like lore for the game. Oh, that's fine. It's like story stuff. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, uh, for a Mario game? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this... Level. Oh, how to do it now. <clears throat> oh, I lost it. Fuck. Jump too late. Okay, see, I'm getting the hang of this 4 3, and it's giving me so much trouble. Yo, JJ Faith, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for stopping in. We're playing some more Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels, which is Super Mario Brothers 2 in Japan. But it was uh, deemed too hard and too similar to the first Super Mario Brothers game, so it was released only in Japan. Um, so Bowser has a brother in this game. Does he? Does he look any different than Bowser? Or is he just another Bowser clone? Spoiler: Who defeats Bowser and saves Peach? Not bad. Hey, I can't complain. JJ Faith, I can't complain. You know, just playing some Mario, hanging out. This game is tough. It's kicking my butt, but it's you know, it's 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 doable because it's like in chunks. You know, you get the the the, the, the one world chunks, so it's not too bad. All fresh and clean again. Nice. Let's go. Oh look, Stream Boo. <laughs> hey, it's Stream Boo. What's up, Stream Boo? Do 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 do. Never knew him. Oh, I guess you'll know. I guess you'll know all about Stream Boo. Wait, what? That didn't come out right. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm Okay, yo, thanks for the hydrate and the stretch. I actually do need to take a break here soon. Okay, on the next game over, I'll take a break. You quit your job? Or that's, that's on you, Kev. 
It's on you. It's not my fault you have a gambling addiction. Yo, bro! Yo, dude! pretty good thank you bowser's brother is blue is he really is he blue da ba dee da ba die how about stream boo is it good boo <laughs> might be good boo uh bowser's brother has blue balls he might yo thank you for the posture check matt smith <laughs> booby Adventure time, come grab your breast. We'll go on a very distant sex. <laughs> Jake the horse and Finn the woman. The fun will never come. It's adventure time. Hey, you sold me, man. Okie dokie, I gotta get going. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Good night, everyone. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much for stopping in, Salt. Thank you so much for the raid. Let's give you another shout here on your way out. I really appreciate you. Everybody go follow. Salt86, obviously a fan of the classics, the retro good stuff. You know, these games, playing Castlevania Symphony at night, going for 200%. Um, so we'll definitely have to pop in there and check you out sometime. And you, everybody should go follow Salt86. So you know, thank you so much again. Thanks for hanging out, too. Really, really appreciate you. Have a good night. Uh, sleep well, my day just started. <laughs> but you're on the other side of the planet. Later, Salt, have a good night. Nighty night. Alright, let's do it. Let's play this cursed... Cursed game. Oh, nice. Okay, that's pretty helpful. So, what is that, the third? The third one? The third one. Of... Can I even... Okay, so we can do hops. I got hops. I got hops, baby. Okay. Oh, shit, that was stupid. But whatever. We'll learn our lesson next time. All right, sorry, we gotta get momentum. Oh! I fuck up on such an easy part. Well, hey, I mean, I got to here without dying, so that's actually still pretty good. That's good progress. Power up. Sometimes I just have too much momentum for my own good. Salt steams and raided already follow. Hell yeah, let's go. Yo, Johnny boy, what's up? How you doing? Welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. Flapping time. Come on, fuck your friends. <laughs> wow. You can do it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for believing in me. I'll try. We'll do it. We'll get it eventually. Just, it's just, just trial and error crap. You know how it is. Just these old games are just, they're made different, you know. Just about doing it over and over and over and over again. Go, go, go! That didn't make any sense. I was holding right. Is it because I'm Big Mario? You can't go to the right? When it's a straight fall like that? Huh? This shit's stupid as fuck. Yeah, I remember these old games. You had to be built different to beat these ones. Exactly. They're they're made different, and you got to be built different. Everything's different. Street, steams or streams all the same. Some people steam while they stream from Steam. Hey, that's... 
Yeah, it's very poetic and very true. Mario time, you're angry ass. Oh my god, damn. I see Mario's being harsh on you today. Well, I mean, this is the elusive lost world, so I guess it makes sense. But it's okay, we're making progress. I mean, we made it to World 4. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. How you doing, Easy Games? Thanks for popping in, guys. Check out Easy Games if you have not yet. He's over there playing Super Mario RPG, the Switch version. I believe our first playthrough of it, and he recently beat Super Mario, or not Super Mario, Princess Peach Showtime, which looked like a pretty cool game. And also a fan of like RPGs, JRPGs like Persona 5 Royale, which he went through a little while ago. It's a pretty epic journey with that one, because you know those games are pretty intense, pretty hardcore. I also plays like uh, Elden Ring and Robo RoboCop Rogue City and other stuff. Fan of the classic Nintendo games. And he's got a pretty, pretty awesome, smooth voice. Go check him out. Go check out Easy Games. Give him a follow. Thanks for being here, man. How are you? Whoa, what did I do? Righto. Fuck you. Damn. All right, guys. I'm going to go take a little breaky break. Use the bathroom. Fill up on water. And grab a snack or something. And uh, we'll be back. Let's try to finish World 4, man. It's kicking my butt. But hey, we beat the other one. So we're getting somewhere. All right, guys. Be right back. Thank you all for being here. You guys are awesome. We'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
What are you buying? That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. Yeah, I'm big. What are you selling? What are you buying? What are you doing? What are you fucking? Cheer stream. Everybody loves a good cheer stream every now and again. Yeah? Uh, whoa, what'd I do? <laughs> Damn. Thank you for the hydrate. Easy games. Got yeah, a little bit of a headache tonight. Besides that, not bad. I'm sorry. I hear that. I hope that... Clears up quickly for you. Did you know what I did last night? Stutti, Joel. I know what you did last summer. You fucked my ma my mother. My mother? Same thing you do every night, trying to take over the world. <laughs> it's probably pretty true. Nope. Martha? Take over the girl panties. <laughs> Fuck you. Damn. Matt Smith is just so... Um, so intense. Um... Your mother isn't one of Saber's wives, is she? <laughs> Selling your ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, what is going on? Alright. Gonna have a little beer here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, come on, let's get in there. Mather Facker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some good Mather Facker. All about that. It's a pretty good lifestyle, right? Be right back in the shop in town, pick up a ooh cake. What kind of cake? Oh, I fucked up. I gotta get warmed back up again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, it's the lock at two level, right? Here, jump here a thousand times. Not sure. Has loads. Okay, so you just haven't decided yet. Let us know what you get. Apparently, I fuck everybody's wives and mathers. <laughs> Mather fucker. My mather? <laughs> oh, Matt Smith is too great. He's just too great. Everybody comes here for Matt Smith, not me. He comes here for the Matt Smith. He's the true hero. He's the true Mather Facker. See, how come I could run on to this one? Without falling off. But in the Bowser level at all. It all goes to shit, man. I'm trying to tell you. Whoa. That's a close meatball. That is a spicy close meatball. Mama Mia. Mm -hmm. Matt's best smith. Save her best and smith. Bud. Butt bad fucker. <laughs> Mather facker. <laughs> Y'all yeah, wild. Chaotic randomness, it's great. Love you crazy Mather Backers.
story, Mark. Okay. Long jump. This is 4-3. This is the bad one. This is the, this is the nasty one. Yeah, we're starting to get the hang of it, though. Can't skip that. Long jump. Oh. I swear, I always think I'm not gonna make that jump. But you still do it. Bad butt fucker. Butthead. <laughs> Beavis, you dumbass. It's cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yo, Ren, did you like playing boxing games growing up? Not really. Except for Ready to Rumble boxing. That was cool. Because it was more fun and goofy and arcadey. When they're just too serious and eh, just not really into it. Why, are you a fan of AW1? Massimus shows up and takes over the co He always does. His goddamn charm and always takes over. Yo. You should be fireproof when you're fire Mario, right? That makes sense. That makes sense to me. <clears throat> okay, here come the Koopas. But I got the Fire Mario, Fire Mario. Punch out. Yeah, I never really played much of it. I remember a little bit of the Wii one. That was pretty cool. But I didn't really know. play the NES one. A tiny bit of the Super Nintendo one. I like that Def Jam boxing game on the GameCube. Was it a boxing game? I thought it was a wrestling game. I didn't know if there was a boxing version of Def Jam. I've never played any of the Def Jams. Over the sex combo. Johnny, you cage? <laughs> wrestling. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Cage sex. Johnny Cage. Sonya Blade, Sub Zero, Mortal Kombat. Okay, yeah, this is the one, but maybe I should wait for the platform to fall or something. There we go, that works a little better, I guess. Yes, we can get through the hammer room. Easier now. Okay, well, oh god, not another maze. Oh, dude, how am I supposed to get past this? I can't go back now. This is some bullshit. I can't run across that. I, have, I think I have to try to jump to that top one. There we go. This is another maze. Better not be another fucking maze. Dude, oh god! <sighs> Sex with Son Sunny Cage? What the fuck? What game was that in again? Johnny Cage? That's Mortal Kombat. Lost Levels. Hey, you know it, man. It's Masochist Monday. <laughs> How you doing, uh, Gamehawk? Thanks so much for popping in, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How was your stream? Let's give uh, Gamehawk a shouty. Good to see you, man. Yeah, we're playing this. This is actually more fun than the other Mario game, though, to be honest. The uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. That one, I don't know. I got a little tired of it. I didn't finish it. Maybe I'll come back. We'll see. Maybe I'll play the Super Nintendo version again instead. We'll see. But this one I'm enjoying. I mean, this is definitely tough, but this is doable because it's like in chunks because you don't have to redo the whole game. You don't have a hard game over. You, you can continue right from, from the, the the game over screen and just, boom, you're right back to the, the beginning of whatever world you are on. So we're on World 4-4. War, War. If we get a game over, we can go back to World 4-1. So... In some ways, it's it's more doable that way because you just have to beat four levels at a time essentially before you get a checkpoint. So, but yeah, it's still tough. It's still 
still a bit merciless. You beat this game with the safe states. <laughs> hey, man, I, I totally understand. I mean, it's it's not easy. You want your 30 minutes back? Have you been here for 30 minutes? You're going to have to stay for 30 more now. <laughs> but, guys, go check out Gamehawk55. Uh, uh, give him a follow. He's another fantastic streamer in the community. Very, very nice guy. Very charismatic and easy to talk, talk to, chat with. Just, you know, goof off and have a good time. Joke around. All that good stuff, man. He's super dope. He's super cool. Um, and he, uh, you know, plays a lot of different games, variety type of games. You know, he's over there playing some difficult stuff himself, like getting over it. Difficult game about climbing. Lately, he's been playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, which is... I freaking love that game. It was so good. Very hard, too. Did you ever get past Lady Butterfly? I saw you were playing that the last time you were playing Sekido. Um, but, yeah, that was a tough fight, man. That was probably the most difficult fight in the game for me, personally. Um, but, yeah, it, you know, not only that, he plays spooky games, too, but he also plays guitar. He'll whip that out, like, on stream, man. He'll whip out that bad boy, start shredding, playing, like, Metallica, Iron Maiden, some sweet-ass riffs, um, or some, like, Legend of Zelda, some Mario, all sorts of cool stuff, man. He's awesome. Go give him a follow. Gamehawk is fantastic. <clears throat> let's see here. Let's see here. Wow, nice running. Uh, Ultimate Cage fucking didn't that used to come on HBO late nights or was that like real sex? <laughs> real sex sounds familiar. That's why you didn't recognize. You never got into Mortal Kombat. Mm. Are you not much of a fighting game person, Johnny Boy? That's okay. I mean, Mortal Kombat is pretty popular, but I mean, yeah, not everybody likes everything. It's Wednesday, you fucking time traveler. I know. What is your Wednesday? Because I know you usually you were gonna do Witcher stuff, but then you turned it into also masochist. What was the word for that one for Wednesday? I'd be uncomfortable if Matt Smith suddenly started making sense. I know, man. I'd be like, I'd be freaking out. Ultimate sex cage. <laughs> I beat this game with save states. Uh, maybe. Ren, we never save game for Mario. He love hardcore. I mean, you know, I mean, we always love it hardcore <laughs> in more ways than one. Can we get our time back? Yeah. You have to pay the price, though. I didn't. I went back to do other things, but I beat Lord Genshin Impact in about five to six tries. Lord Genshin Impact. Hey, man, let's go. GG's. There you go. Genshin, Genshin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gen Genshiro, Genshiro, whatever his name is. Five to six tries. Five to six tries. That's that's pretty sick, dude. The dude on the rooftop? If you beat him in five to six tries, that's pretty impressive. That's enough. I already have a headache. Too many jokes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I like the real ones, the arcade boxing games. Yeah, if they're like arcadey ones, those are funny. W one Wizarding Wednesdays, Hogwarts like yeah, he's been playing Hogwarts Legacy, right? Okay, he switched to Wizarding Wednesdays. <laughs> I like that. I like how you have a, a little uh, name for every every little uh, situation. That's awesome. Very creative. I don't know. Matt Smith saying something about a threesome of meat, Kelts and Chewbacca seemed like the most sane thing he's ever said. I mean, yeah, I mean. Makes sense to me. It gets hairy. Wookie sex. Yeah, the only the one on the rooftop with the three faces with the lightning. That's pretty impressive. Five to six. That one wasn't as hard as some of the other ones. I don't know if I beat it in five to six, but yeah, you should be able to beat uh, Lady Butterfly now. Pretty good. You had practice though. Okay, right on. Yeah, that was a fun fight. I know a lot of people were complaining about that one, but I actually enjoyed it. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, Lady Butterfly was like my my learning curve. Oh, I fucked this up. I fucked it up. Okay, no. But I want to fire Mario. I want to fire Mario. That way I can uh, get past the hammer bros. Easier. That's going to be the trickiest part. No. Let's get that momentum. Ah! I got to wait for it to go a little bit more. See, game over, but we go back to the beginning of World 4. Not a hard game, or mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything for a piece of Kelsey. Damn. Uh, Twilik in the streets, Wookie in the sheets. M? Huh, what? Hello there. Hi, Matt. Hi, how are you? Momentum? More like momentous failure. Damn. I mean, you're not wrong. It happens, though. Dude, the death counters, uh, it's getting there, man. Almost 150. We're on World 4 only. Okay. Like I said, you only gotta, like, beat four levels at a time. Master those. Instead of having to do 32 back-to-back -back on Mario 1, I don't know. Ah, fuck. How stupid. E 
emotional damage. Um, hi Matthew, I'm Will, how are you? Do, 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 do. This will be a good game for your masochist Mondays. <laughs> game on. Enjoy yourself. I am free, free guy. Matt is a free guy. <laughs> Fuck off, no. Come on, it can't be harder than that. Couldn't be harder than some of those other games you play. I don't know, dude. Sekiro's pretty tough, man. It ain't kid stuff. Get out of here, Mario. What are you doing? Okay. Ah. What am I doing? game lined up. Yeah, I hear that's that's a that's a tough one. That's probably harder than this. Who knows? Maybe. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, great masochist streams. Chewbacca. Do the Mario. Have you seen Free Guy? <laughs> He's a free guy that hasn't seen Free Guy. Do the Mario. One second. Hello. 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 Nice to see you. I know. I know. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Okay. Okay. Good girl. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. You know that? You're crazy. You're so crazy. Sasha. Puppy. Getting big. It was an impeccable cherry fresh. <laughs> uh, Chewbacca is my Chewbacca. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. I love it. For you guys, a must watch for all gamers. It's hilarious. That's the um, the Deadpool one. Not the Deadpool, but the, um, the Ryan Reynolds one, right? Free Guy was cute, but I wouldn't say it was a must-watch. This is not Chipmunk. For gamers, there aren't that many great gaming movies. I mean, that's true. Give it a 6 out of 10. Well, 6 out of 10 could be all right. Uh, like, hold the door for the other guys when they say thank you. You say you got it, lover, and start walking away. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. That sounds like a real winner right there. I gotta be careful on this one. I gotta stay sharp on this one. Jump! Okay, cool. That's a good jump. Ooh, we get our Fire Mario back. Let's go. Let's go. Now we gotta keep this some bitch. Oh. Oh! I sometimes just... Just, uh, yeah. Shit fucks up. <laughs> guy could have used more sex and violence for most things. <laughs> That's the barometer. Cheap monk. <laughs> Cheap monk. Alvin and the chipmunks. Mm -hmm. 
All right, bro, I gotta go and get to bed. Just wanted to come and say hi before Ben have a great rest. So why am I playing this Wednesday? Yeah, that's a good one. Why am I playing this Wednesday? Thanks so much for stopping in, man. Everybody go check out GameHawk55 if you haven't yet. Like I said, he's playing some uh, Hogwarts Legacy over there for uh, Wizarding Wednesdays and Massacres Mondays where he's playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Freaky Fridays with some spooky horror games, and um, lots of other stuff to come, like you know, guitar playing, some radical guitar playing, and just a good time, man. Guys, go, go check him out. Give him a follow. I do not know how I did get hit by that, but I'm okay with that. Do, 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 do. Such a mind fuck because you just did something nice for them. Just call them lover. Wanna be my lover? Wanna be my lover? It was a cute idea, and Ryan Reynolds playing himself is always fun. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's like the same guy in every movie. Uh, and by the time they even thought about how to react, you're already gone. Yeah, you're like gone with the wind, man. There's just have but you can't do anything about it, right? It's like game over to them. What the fuck, man? This level's annoying. Now we gotta get through those hammer bros again. Oh my god. Yeah, game over. Literally. Well, sort of. They'll be thinking about how they got called lover for the <laughs> These are the type of things you think about, huh? Interesting. And you call Matt Smith weird. Same director who did Free Guys, also doing Deadpool and Wolverine. Mm. So they're like in cahoots, huh? He's not the best director. Who did the other Deadpool movies? Is the same guy? In Tony Hawk's about in Tony Hawk about skater too. I finally reached the second level school. Wow, school! Wow, congrats, man! Congratulations. School level is cool. Cool. Cool, man. Good job. Oh, Deadpool and Wolverine is the best. Yeah, that's like a crossover that's been ne needing to happen for a long time, huh? I tell you, he's too fast. I jaked to the tits for it. Can anybody speak English in this chat? <laughs> Unless I'm just confused what that means. <clears throat> Thanks, though. Put all stuff. Tim Miller did the uh, first Deadpool, then David Lech did two. Okay, so it's like a different person for each one. But my level only pro score. Mm. I'll have to play that sometime, show you how it's done. Yeah, 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 yeah. David Leach is a better director than Miller or Levy, in my opinion. Joe Lynch should just direct everything from now on. Wait, there were, is there three Deadpool movies, or did you say just two? Just had it, just lost it, just had it, just lost it. Great on the lock and two's following me. Around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. 
Ay, 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 the dude who makes awful direct-to-DVD movies. Gotta love Joe's movies. Oh, we got a shroom power-up. You're right, we gotta do that. Thank you for the shroom power-up, Easy Games. Thank you for the redeem. We must power up to beat this shit. Let's go. Power up. He's like, man. Joe Litch grew up near me and I have zero affinity to him. See your neighbor? Do you like take your lunch money or something? Like a bomb dropping? <laughs> you grew up on the same island? Ah, uh, okay. I see, I see. Everly and Mayhem, amazing. the first time in a while that I missed that jump. Oh, well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Do the Mario, guys. Come on, do the Mario. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, what am I doing? It's just one of those bad runs. That's all. It happens. Boom, boom, boom. That's that's some bullshit right there. That's because it's kind of RNG where the bullet bill is gonna be. It's some bullshit. Because you can't you can't stand there and wait for a reaction because the, the platform is sinking. Not sinking, it fucking drops. <laughs> that's what I should say. I mean, yeah, we kind of knew that. Everly starts out with a butt naked Selma Hayek. It's amazing. Okay. You have my attention. Just one of those funny things. What a story, Mark. Googling everything now. <laughs> Google all the things. World 4 3. Bam, bam, bam. 
far down. Okay, bullet bill bullshit. And it happened again. Oh, it's still okay. We still went through even. No, I had, didn't have enough momentum. <gasps> yeah, that part's kind of bullshit. Okay, so even if you get hit by the bullet bill, I think you can still push through as long as you're big Mario. If you're little Mario, you might not even have to worry about getting hit though. So, okay, so it was at the, was at the right part there. <laughs> Been a while since I fucked that up. Uh, Tony Hawk have a score, higher score, pro score, six score from level one, high score, 10,000 pro score, 25,000, six score, 75,000. Oh, cool. Are you doing combos? Like manuals? After grinds or air tricks, <coughs> kill all those whore in that filthy whorehouse. Selma kill them all. It starts with her naked in a bathroom getting a hidden gun out of a toilet. Well, I mean that's a start. <laughs> that's one way to start. A movie. Such an easy part right there. Come on, we're not even halfway done with this. If we finish this this world, we'll be halfway done with the game. Assuming it has eight worlds. I don't know if anybody can confirm that or not. If it has eight worlds. I think it's, it's eight worlds. Binary Man said there might have been a, an extra one or something. Like, you have to do something to get that. But, I'm not entirely sure. Whatever, we're just gonna play it as intended. As a blind first playthrough, you know? If I miss something, I miss something. I don't fucking know. Suitable flash that came out last year is crazy as shit. Joe Lynch needs more recognition for his talents. Getting Selma Hayek naked to start the movie. I played without training. I was only able to do a pro score. Mm. Well, that's a good start, man. It's a good start. Usually naked Selma Hayek is enough said, and Mayhem is even better with Samara Weaving and Glenn from The Walking Dead. I don't know who those other two are. I'm just trying to do the Mario, man. Do the Mario. Do the Mario. Whoa, that was some height. That was some hops right there. Mario got them hops. He got hops. He got hops. Oh, oh, oh. He got hops. He got hops. Got hops for days. Whew. That was close. Thank you. I hope. Oh, good boogers. The boogers deal it очень классно. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, too much momentum there. Jump, you fuck. Jump. <gasps> Fire Mario. My dreams, my hopes, my wishes, 
They've all come true. Except for I'm probably about to lose here because of the bullet bill bullshit. <gasps> oh, RNG, see what I mean? RNG was in my favor that time. Yo, Dango Rangus, what is up with the five stream streak? Dude, hell yeah, let's go. Thank you so much for stopping in. How you doing? D -d -d Dango. D -d 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 Dango Rangus. What's up? How you doing? Let's give a shouty to Dango Rangus. Playing them sweet, sweet retro games. Guys, we love retro games. You're going to go love some Dango Rangus. Settle on up, guys. And go follow Dango Rangus. <laughs> How are you doing? Thanks so much for stopping in. No! no! Fuck, fuck, fuck. I feel like I do that better with Little Mario. <laughs> Something about Big Mario. Messed me up there. Oh. No, no, no. Bro, what the fucking got trapped? <sighs> it's such bullshit. I got lucky there. That's, that was the saving grace. There we go. Alright, finally back to the castle. Mario Bros. tomorrow, first stream. Guys, first stream tomorrow. Super Mario Brothers. That's gonna be awesome. Definitely go show some support, some love, all that good stuff. Let's go. Hey, hello. <laughs> what is, oh, love. Hey, love. Hey, hello. Like Halo, the game. Oh, dude, I gotta play some Halo. We gotta do Halo sometime. I've done Halo, uh... Halo 1. And not on stream. Maybe I should do Legendary Mode or something. Isn't that the... Isn't that what the cool kids do? Hey, you fuck. You dirty, slimy fuck. How did I do that? That, like, never happens. Okay, how do we do this? We jump to the middle one, right? Wow, Halo. Mmm, that Halo. Halo! Dude, do we even have a gap there? Okay, we do. It's just an awkward one. That'll happen. Nice shot, yeah. <laughs> that was luck, man. Total luck. Dun 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 dun. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake! That's right, we can just do a run with this one. Only one Goomba this time. <laughs> Are you serious? This should have stood up. Total fuck. Okay, let's see. Maybe we just do a run. Ah, there was a gap. I could have, yeah, I just need to jump a little bit more. Disease free with the epic raid. Let's go, dude. Thank you so much for the raid. Holy shit. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. How's it going? How was the stream? 
So I know you do those intense streams, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, you guys should definitely go check out Disease Free, man. He he plays, not only does he play games like this, I think he's done this before in the past, but he'll 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 do a game he's never played before in one and basically beat it in one sitting. Like I think he did what was it, Halo on the hardest difficulty legendary in one sitting. It was like, I don't know, getting close to forty hours or something like that. Diesel Girl 007, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. This game is broken. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. No problem. Thanks for uh, keeping me. Yeah, yeah, dude. Absolutely, man. Yeah, man. That's that's pretty wild. This stuff. What was what was uh, tonight's game? But everybody, go follow this guy, man. He's he's awesome. Great vibes over there too. And like I said, super super hardcore because he just he'll kick his kick ass, take names, and play some pretty pretty badass games. Super Star Wars. Yeah. Dang. How was that one? Those are pretty tough, right? Those Super NES Star Wars. Yeah, guys, definitely go follow this guy. It's it's awesome, man. It's like so many games you'll beat in one sitting, and it's 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 pretty epic. It's very admirable, and yeah, some badass shit. Soft locked on the last level. I had to. Oh, seriously, damn, super Star Worms. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, that sucks, man. Damn, that's rough. But hey, you redid it. I mean, look, it, probably by that time you have the game so ingrained, you can probably get through it so fast. You know what I mean? Because that's what you got to do. Not just the last level, the last frame. What? That's insane. Yeah, guys, go follow him, man. He's he's awesome. He's hardcore. Uh, and uh, welcome in any new people here. You can just call me Ren. Welcome to Great Ren Streams. But um, yeah, I'm a variety streamer. I lean more towards the retro side, trying to catch up on classics uh, that I missed out on from back in the day. So I didn't grow up with like at the NES. So I'm over here playing some of the earlier Mario games. This one is definitely notorious, you know, for being tricky. And it is, man. In some ways, it's lenient because it lets you redo the uh, the level. Oh, not the level, but the world. So you don't have like a whole... If it was like a game over from the menu, dude, that would be insane. That would be crazy. But yeah, it is pretty tough. It's been kicking my ass. I've been stuck here on World 4 for a while. But yeah. How did you like this game, Disease? Because I think you said you did this a while back. Um, but yeah, we do like a lot of retro games from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, all that good stuff. A lot of first playthroughs, too. Sometimes revisiting some of my favorites from time to time and uh, all sorts of good stuff. Some modern games here and there, but, you know, we're always just chilling out and uh, having a good time. So, yeah, welcome in. Hope you guys enjoy your stay. And Disease, if you have to raid and run, do totally understand. Get yourself some rest. I know your, your streams are, uh, are pretty wild how late you stay up on some of those. Uh, so definitely get yourself some rest. You're more than welcome to stay, hang out, of course. We'd love to have you here, but yeah, get yourself some rest, dude. And thank you again, man. Everybody go follow Disease Free. The last few worlds might as well have been the whole game. Damn. That's pretty fucking crazy. Oh, you mean Super Mario Brothers 2? The last few worlds might as well be the whole game. Jeez. Oh, man. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. But this is still fun, though, because I was actually playing Super Mario Brothers 2 just before this, like the U.S. one. And it was an okay game, but I don't know. I wasn't super clicking with me. But once I switched to this, this is more fun because, you know, the first one was just kept really engaging. The platforming, everything feels good, and it's fun to play. It's just, yeah, you really got to gotta get it down. So I can get to the castle of this World 4, and then, and then I slip up. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. You and Miller follow Disease Free, so I got to too. Dude, follow him, man. It's 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 some epic stuff. Blind uh, playthroughs, one sitting. It's crazy. I don't, I don't think I've seen anybody else do that. Freaking Halo playthrough, one sitting. Uh, it's like 30, 36, 38 hours, 40 hours, something like that. Nuts, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. It's like some of those games are tough enough to play not, like just in a, in a few sittings, you know what I mean? Just to get through them. But in one sitting, that's crazy. Thanks for the follows. Yeah, guys, definitely follow him. He's, he's awesome. It's a brutal respect for beating this. Yeah, I mean, hey, we're getting there. <laughs> Haven't beaten it yet, but we're playing on it, you know? I might not be the best at games, but I just, uh, you know, I'm stubborn. I don't don't like to to give up. For the games that I like, at least. If I'm not, if it's not clicking with me, I don't, I don't really care. But, uh, you know, it's a good time. It's a good time. Because honestly, like we were playing, what was it, Super Mario Brothers One before this? It wasn't really a. Whoa, I almost died there. It wasn't really a first playthrough per se. I, I played it in the past, but I, I used save states and all that. So I wanted to do it without doing that. And I, I was doing it without the warp pipes too. So you have to like you know beat 32 levels back to back and that, that was some pretty good training for this to be honest and like I said it's actually kind of oh shit kind of a relief to uh, 
not have to do the entire game <laughs> when you get a game over. The hills have eyes. Yo, what's up, uh, Gresco Kit? How you doing? Watch him play Halo, went to sleep, woke up the next morning, he was still playing after Rekeel's... I know, I know. Yeah, I think I was there at the end of it, and um, I think he even said, like, Master Max raided him one day, and then he came back and raided him again the next day, because he was still he was still streaming. It was crazy, dude. Oh, great. As soon as I get it, I lose it. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, whatever. What are you gonna do, you know? I need a little bit more momentum for that. Oh, come on. Come on, Mario. Don't do that to me. There we go. Do the Mario. I won't play Halo until there are girls in these costumes. <laughs> I'm sure there's uh, videos for that, Matt Smith. I'm sure there are videos for that. Oh shit, I thought I almost fell off there. Ugh. Got some cake. What kind of cake did you get? Any patini. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Alright, this is... This one was pretty tricky, but it's not too bad. It's the, the Bowser Castle. It's like as soon as I say that, then I fuck up. Yeah, speaking of Star Wars, I gotta. Uh, I think I jumped a bit too early. I gotta think of a Star Wars game to play for Star Wars Day. GG's. Thanks for the GG's. Mocha and orange Jacoke. I don't even know how to say that. With whipped cream. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. It's like I try so hard to jump at the very tip that you end up just falling right off. Yeah, I've been at World 4 for a while. Wow, okay, that was terrible. We're gonna have how many deaths are we at right now? 159. Jeez, I'm curious how, there, how many they're gonna be by the end of the game. Like 500 plus. Jumpy, jumpy. I'm glad that he, like, leaves me alone there for a bit. Giving me some, some space to breathe. Okay, we got that jump down pretty good. Don't drop here. Ah, he's gonna drop me. I just wanna get him out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of here. Yo, Gresco Kit, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, 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 what am I doing? What is I doing here? Okay, let's get that. Get that flower power. I honestly don't even think I need these coins, man. They don't they don't give give me a one up by the end of the level. Kinda redundant, I guess. Do 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 do. Don't lose Fire Mario, okay. Okay, there we go. Star Wars The Princess Leia, Jabba the Hutt's Sex Slave, the game. <laughs> the game? Is there a game of it? Yeah, that's what I should play. I should dress up, I should dress up as Slave Leia. Shit. That'd be kinda hot. So weird, huh? How different? I mean, this is looks and feels the same as the first Mario game. It's a bit way too similar. <laughs> they don't even add any new music or anything, so it's kind of like Mario 1.5, what Mario DLC even. But at the same time, it's like way harder, level to level basis at least. So it kind of makes sense why they didn't bring it to the U.S. Somebody's had to have made that game by now. Yeah, you're probably right, man. <laughs> the 
Don't lie, Rhino. You know you've already downloaded it and played it like 69 times. Okay. Um, let's make this jump. There we go. Bowser's castle this time. There we go. Just go over here. Don't need this block because I already have Fire Mario. Okay, this is the bullshit part right here because of the RNG of the the bullet bill. Okay, we had good RNG. Okay, where's the next bullet bill? Okay. Whoa, almost flew right into him. This is a little tricky. Okay, cool. Back to Bowser's castle. This is when it gets tricky. It's Mario, the exact same game, but harder. Right. Alright, 4-4. Four, four. We can do this. We can do this. We got this. We got this. Wow. Okay, it's like as soon as I come in here. He's just tall Mario, he's just, he's too tall. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, okay, then we got the Koopas. Koopa Troopa. Oh wait, no, we need the momentum first here before we can jump on this block. Don't want to jump too early and get hit by the fire. As you land. Okay. Okay, so we got the hammer, bro. Um, I think I can just jump over him. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so now here, what do we do? Okay, we got a gap there in the flames. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Fucking hell. 69 times exactly, I'll never play it again. <laughs> More than enough for you. Okay, big Mario, big Mario, it is. We got ourselves a big boy. We got ourselves a big boy. Okay. Just don't lose Fire Mario here. Kind of, ah, are you serious? Not Fire Mario, but Big Mario. Get this out of here. Some spots honestly feel easier with little Mario. Oh, I've never gone up here. Maybe this will be easier if I can just run off. Yes, okay, cool. So try to aim it. <gasps> what the f <laughs> Oh, that's some good trolling. That was some good trolling. That's happened in other situations too, so that's nothing new, but. Kaizo blocked. Yeah. We got cock block, dude. We got freaking cock block, man. Well, ain't that some bullshit? Well, hey, it was, it was going pretty good, other than that. <laughs> it's fine, I'll have to keep that in mind next time. Come here, dude. Just want to get him out of the way. Do 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 Fire Mario and keep him. Jump, uh, jump, uh. Oh, that's like the first time I hit one of those things in the midair. Those shelled spike guys are invincible. <clears throat> that was a close call. Just kind of instinctually slid under that. Give me this in Bowser's Castle. 
That'd be a lot nicer. <laughs> It'd be nicer of them to do that. But nah, this ain't a nice game. I don't think WWE games will ever bring back bra and panty matches. No? When was the last time they did that? It's been a while. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's got to bring the viewers. <laughs> more momentum going here. That's alright, maybe we can uh, hop back on. There we go. Ah. What if it was John C. <laughs> hey, there you go. Yeah. I mean, those guys are already basically in panties. <laughs> They'd have to be jean panties, damn. It has been a while, but they did have them. Yeah, no, I remember that. I remember that too. Not that I watched much wrestling, but I do remember that was like a thing. What? Come on. Ah, I gotta stop messing up on this stuff here. Saturday, my uncle is uh, coming to check out the work that has to be done. What work? some things. Oh yeah, I don't have to get this. Because we, by the end of the level, we don't have enough coins to get on one up. <clears throat> so it's kind of like, eh. It's kind of like, meh. Come back here, you swine. Oh, are you serious? He threw it exactly when I was like... Jumping up there to try to jump on him. Let's get this. Hopefully, not die. Bro, you gotta cut it out, man. Lockatu is such a such a troll. Mario would say, ah, my head, my gullaba. He'll bring my aunt. I'll make sure we have coffee ready and something. Yeah, get those cakes. All right. <laughs> Hopefully he's an awesome uncle, not an uncle elven uncle. Don't be uncle elven uncle. That's true. I, uh, I, concur, I concur with this message. Seems like you can usually jump over them. Sometimes they'll jump up. Uncle Owen. <laughs> Uncle Owen. His wife is my mom's younger sister. My wife is my sister. Uncle's a good motto for uncles everywhere. Yeah, that's true. It's written in stone for all the uncles in the world. <laughs> Fucking Uncle Elvin. Oh, shit. The lore that has come from these streams is uh, something to behold. That's for sure. 
Bullshit one. Okay, hey. Pretty good RNG so far. Pretty good. Do, 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 do. There we go. Cool. We back here. Dude! Dude, where's my car? Stand near you. Blew. Okay, kill that guy. So is it better to go up? Might be better to go up. <clears throat> and we can just run down into that. There we go. Okay, block, right? There was another one, but I held right this time again to win. Okay, this is a tricky jump. Dude, too many flames. Come on. Stop being fucking lame. Time's running, time's running. Come on, come on. Come on, don't screw me. You're gonna screw me. Oh, I was gonna try to use the invincible range from that. Oh, it was right there. This is bridge, too. Okay, it's the farthest that I've made it, so I'm still happy about that. That's fine. It's okay. Tip for fighting bombs for dungeons fire. Wow. Nice tip. Thanks. Tatooine say, got blue milk. Mmm, who's that? Blue milk, man. I had it, too. Despite the bullshit, it's still fun, though. Okay, hopefully RNG's on our side. Jump! Oh, I wanted to get on the higher platform. It's like the trick is you want to... Oh, you want to jump over him, but uh, at the same time... Go far enough to land on the platform. It's like the first Kaizo Mario, right? I don't know what the hell that was. It's like the first iteration of all that stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, no, I'm just playing the crap. I should probably just die on purpose. So I can have enough. Going to Bowser's Castle. Looks tough. Yeah, it ain't it ain't easy. It ain't easy. But like I said, you just you just have to master four levels in a row at a time, which is still tough, but Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Ah, that was so stupid. At least there's yeah, exactly, there are checkpoints. First one didn't have checkpoints. Oh, you f 
fucking troll. I had to go this way. <laughs> I just had to go. Ah! Thank you for going over here. Shit. Oh my god. I should I should really kill him. Pain in my ass. Ass! I asked my sister got milk, she started hitting me. <laughs> Gotta milk those udders. Blue milk. away there for a bit. Am I gonna have enough momentum here? Okay. About bloody time. Disney World has a blue milk, only the least amount of kids necessary to make it were sexually assaulted. What the fuck? Yeah, even Matt Smith was like, what? Do they have blue milk at Disney World? Come on, go, go. Jump, you fuck. Thank you. Bullshit RNG. Okay, not bad, not bad. Cool, cool. Turn around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I probably I gotta get that Super Mario Maker because I'm sure there's some pretty fun levels that people make in that. Hollywood is holly weird. That is, you ain't, you ain't wrong. Holly, holy sex, <laughs> holy poopy, holy sex and holly poopy. <clears throat> holy diver, holly pussy. It's okay, it was only the least amount necessary. <laughs> okay. Kill him, that frees this up here. <clears throat> okay, don't, don't dawdle. What? Dude, what the fuck? There's like no space. There's like no space. Okay, he's over here. Come on. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? I'm running out of time. Oh, they didn't make it easy, huh? Come on, you sack of shit. Do something. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm running out of time. I gotta go, I gotta go. Go! Ugh. His fucking hitbox, dude. Hey, the time was 007, then. Oh, dude, that's tricky. Fuck. 
gotta have Fire Mario for that. I mean, it's possible without it, but goddamn, that would make my life easier. Or if I could even just take a hit with this big Mario here. Take a hit, man. Yo, Krauser, what's up, dude? How are you doing? Imagine if they had to do platforming in real life to get to places. I mean, people do parkour. <laughs> you got to climb steps to get to places sometimes, you know. It's pretty difficult. Let's give a shouty to Krauser. How you doing, man? Perverted painter overalls. I know, exactly. That's what I'm looking for. Guys, check out Get Naked with Krauser 4000. If you haven't yet, this dude's awesome. Good buddy. Buddy of the channel. He's known him for a long time. He's nothing but good times, good vibes. Very fun, funny guy. Recently started streaming not long ago. Hit affiliate. Hit over 100 followers. It's awesome. He's great. He's over there playing Dead by Daylight. Big Resident Evil fan. Big Metal Gear Solid fan. Enjoys some classic retro games and just a good time. So go check him out and give him a follow because he's awesome. You're welcome for the shouty, man. Thanks for being here. How are you? Yeah, we were playing that, you know, the uh, gay Persian bar music game. I didn't finish it. I just was getting a little bit sick of it. So I wanted to switch to this one, which was the the, the Super Mario Brothers 2 in Japan. And, and it was later, really, you know, released as Lost Levels in a different uh, compilation. But this is what Japan got as Mario 2, which basically still looks like Mario 1, but it's just like a lot harder uh, level to level. But at least this one will give you checkpoints within each world. So if you die, you go back to the beginning of like, World 4 if I have a game over here. So at least that's cool. Otherwise, this would be, like, insane. <laughs> it's already pretty fucking tough, but, yeah, it would be insane. Uh, that would be me. I've seen uh, real-life platforming places. Everybody get naked. Krauser's here. Go get naked with him. It's true. Close. Yeah, that's true, Dango. I just I need Fireball. Or at least even Big Mario. If I can keep Big Mario, I'm good. Need a Game Genie? No. No Game Genies. Take off your clothes. Your clothes. Give them to me now. Thanks for the shout, of course. Uh, hi, Sam. Hey, Matt. How are you? I theft of sister panties. Krauser's here to nurse a hang over from men. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But he's come back over to a bunch of men as well. Dude, I'm like in the lava when, when I jump off of it. Okay, so we'll run and jump and try to get to the other. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, so hopefully the yeah, plant doesn't come back. And then we'll, <coughs> we'll run. Watch out for the Kaizo stuff. Oh, what the fuck is that, dude? What? That is... <sighs> that is bullshit, bro. Can I get this? Can I get this? Can I get this? <laughs> That timing fucked me off. I should have just let it go. That's not even worth it. I mean, it could be worth it, but... <clears throat> it's tough. It's no joke. The goal is to try to have Fire Mario. Okay, I don't know what that was. Game was like, I want to be a dick and throw throw fire at. You. Yeah, exactly. Throw f that's what I'm saying. It's just some bad R RNG sometimes. Fire at me when in a place I can't even jump over it. As Big Mario, I think Little Mario could probably clear it in, in a smaller space like that, but Big Mario. It's basically what we like to call around here some bullshit. <clears throat> Sam. Carl, why? CJ. I don't know if I missed the posture check easy games, but if I did, thank you for that. <laughs> 
I gotta stream that crappy Walking Dead Destiny's game soon just so I have an excuse to yell, Carl! <laughs> Is that how you get inspiration for your streams? Hey, whatever, whatever works for you. Funny moments, Carl's mother dead. <laughs> Damn. That's not very nice. Chuvak. Did CJ's mom die? San Andreas? I don't know, I didn't play far enough. Carl's mother, she was a whore. Oh, wow. Well. We gotta do some Grand Theft Auto games. Sometime. probably try out like the very early ones like one and two the top down ones I've never played those before so I'd like to see what they're all about cool okay Bowser's Castle fire Mario let's fucking go I mean Carl from Walsing Dead not CJ, okay. No CJ. <clears throat> okay, we don't even need to fuck with this. Let's just get some better momentum. We don't, we don't lose our fire Mario. Mario! Koopas coming. Koopa Troopas. They're coming in hot. Okay, swing around. No! Come on! What the fuck? Are you. S that, like, never happens. The lamest shit fucks me up. Now I don't have another chance to be, uh. Got it and lost it. <laughs> I got it and lost it like all in the same moment. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. <laughs> what a story, Mark. It's happened before in other situations, but I think it's extra funny over here. Yeah, I don't get it. How did I lose that jump? I had Fire Mario. kids. Good momentum. 
that. Oh, cool. It's still clear even without having a good... As a good running start, I should say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think after this, I, I, I want to play something more polygonal. Because <laughs> we've been playing a lot of these, like, old 2D ones. Platformers. I'm going to need a break. It's either, like, maybe a PS1 game or a PS2 era game. So something from that generation, maybe. What am I doing? What am I... Losing it. I'm losing it, he. Jack Japanese kids, strong nerds. <laughs> Japanese kids aren't allowed to be like other kids. Yeah, I know, man. It's like, if they fuck up, I'm sorry, Kiri, man. They got, they got a lot to lose. <laughs> This was Japan only for a while. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. God damn it. Mm -hmm. They have to be better. Yes, and we all know why they are so smart. I was explained that earlier as well as some other nuclear history. <laughs> Rhino has an atom bomb fetish. It seems like it, man. He's been talking about this shit all night. <laughs> Struck. Yeah, exactly. Just filling the bill with the uh, Destructo name. Representing, you know. like NBA Jam. Boom shakalaka. GG's. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, thank you. But so far, we haven't hit the, the hot spot. Now, this level was giving me some trouble for a while. It still does from time to time. It's not going after this. Okay. We got Fire Mario. Let's just keep fire Mario. Please no bullshit RNG. Thank you. Jump up, jump up. Ah, fuck. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, he finally made that. I didn't know if that was possible. You can make that jump. Okay. I think it helped because I, like, jerked my body to the right. That always helps, right? <laughs> there we go. Okay, Bowser's Castle. Rono, shove a nuclear warhead up your ass. <laughs> no, that would hurt. It would be over soon. Trying. <laughs> okay. Goal is to keep. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Oh, it was close, but all that momentum <coughs> from that. Us, don't lose it here like last time. Just that never happens too. Like, it's so funny how that is. Okay. Let it pass. Now. Okay. Keep it. Thank you. Get hit by that. Don't get hit by the hammer or hit by the flames. Okay. 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 We're up here. That's good. Kill that. So. Look for that to pass. pattern this time. Okay, I should go after the top one passes. <sighs> Why does it feel so weird? It's like a different spin cycle, man. It's like they're rotating differently this time. 
the gap wasn't as... It, it probably had, had to be because I had Fire Mario. I don't know if there's, like, little differences in the programming because of things like that. Or if it's just random RNG. It's hard to stop after that jump. You just slide right into it. So your butt doesn't get cold or play Japanese Mario Bros. 2. This is Japanese Mario Bros. 2. Nuclear butt plugs or Sonic Mario 2 lost levels. <laughs> get a big Mario. Pick your poison. tricky compared to the first one were people complaining the first game was too easy or something <laughs> like what's the deal well, what is the story what a story mark are you serious Plutonium anal beads for the daring, super daring. Gotta pick your mom. Stevens. Okay. Nice to not have lost a life, but whatever. My mom? Everybody's mom. <laughs> Nobody's mom is left out of the equation. Mom squared. Let's try this again. How many hours have you put into this Lost Levels lately? Uh, well, this stream is, what, four hours? And then we streamed some last stream. It couldn't have been more than two hours last stream, so somewhere like maybe five to six hours. Not that much, honestly. Because Mario 1 took like 25 to 30 hours with no warp pipes. That was, that was pretty tough. But that's because I had to do the entire game over. Every time I had a game over. Do, 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 do. 
Loves a good mustache, right? <laughs> Damn. No, fuck. It's pretty tough. <clears throat> We're only at World 4 of 4 as well. That's the funny thing. <laughs> we still have like 4 of 4 worlds to go. I'm uh, guessing it only gets harder. Take you for a ride. Brown, brown. Gonna take you for a mustache ride. Brown, brown. Shit. Mm, shit bag. You shit bag. This is just easier with little Mario, I think. That's that's the, the trick. That's the trick right there. Yeah, it's just less hitboxes to worry about. Stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Oh, you f I should have been a little bit more patient there. Because sometimes he'll shoot sporadically, other times, like, one after another. Okay, we'll get another chance, I think. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get some chances. <laughs> Woo! You need a Yoshi? Fuck two Yoshi. Yeah. You want to see Yoshi in a Super Mario World, though. I do want to try Yoshi's Island sometime, though. Never really played that one. Did you play Yoshi's Island? Right now, Super Mario World 2. Yoshi! You fuck. I tried to get out of the game, but I just kept coming back to the scenes recorded from behind with a man's ass and balls. It's your favorite one. Your favorite part. No, you can't just say that and not name the movie Crowser. Love that game. Which one? Uh, oh, Super Yoshi's Island. Yeah, isn't it like something about the baby crying kind of constantly is kind of annoying though? <laughs> Other than that, it's like a nice game. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. We should find out soon enough. Maybe a few more runs and then I'll have to call it a night. Ah, oh, fuck. Fucked up my momentum. You fucked up my momentum, dog. I'm sorry, he dropped down, so that's. Oh, wow. Never done that. From that side, at least. Sam, what do you mean? The Adventures of Jack Naylor. I didn't play Yo Hai's Island. Isn't there some annoying ass crap? <laughs> Just talked about it, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, the crying baby. Yeah, we'll check it out sometime, though. Just 
sign for ourselves. Okay, still got plenty of opportunities to get Fire Mario. The tricky part is keeping Fire Mario before getting to Bowser. I mean, getting to Bowser with Fire Mario. That's that's the that is the kicker. No! Porn everywhere. Not gonna look it up. I fear that's a real thing. Yeah, screw that annoying ass crying baby Steven Spielberg can have. <laughs> what is this Steven Spielberg stuff? What are you going on about right now? What are you on about, mate? Sister want panty sniffer. I said, I have the best senses for it. This is so much better than the other shit. Oh, you mean the other Mario? Yeah, I mean, because it's back to, like, back to the roots, right? This immediately felt more fun to play, despite it being... Pretty challenging. SAS? Software as an anal service? <laughs> what the devil are you doing up here? What in the devil? wanted to back up to get a little bit of a running start. <laughs> that was stupid. I believe that you'll beat this game. Thanks for thanks for believing that, EW1. Right now, I'm, I'm not focused on beating the game. I'm just focused on beating that level, 4-4. Four, four. That's it. I'm just trying to chunk it one thing at a time, you know? One thing at a time. But in the greater sense of things, yes. We will beat the game. Too invested now. This just feels so much more fun to play than Doki Doki Mario 2. child actor kid said Steven Spielberg eats whole babies. I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> uh, I want to clean your chimney. You said it was dusty and hadn't been cleaned by hand for some time now, so that's what the broomstick doing up here. Fuck. Go a little slow. No, you're, you're probably right, Dango. I've just been kind of, you know, trying to get through it. Can't blame you. Yo, Dr. Trouble, what's up, dude? How are you doing? Fix this door. <laughs> He's like, fix the door. This door is broken. Guys, go check out Dr. Trouble. How are you doing, man? Thanks for stopping in. He's over there playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. I know a lot of people love the Yakuza's games. Uh, but he's also is playing some... Uh, what the heck were you playing? He's playing Baldur's Gate 3, right? I think you're playing Baldur's Gate 3. But he's also an appreciator of the, the classic, re you know, the retro, the, 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 da the banjo, the Mario's, all that good stuff. He played Mario Kart with us uh, a few times, uh, like several streams ago. It was a good time, man. He's cool. He's awesome. He's super chill. It's a good time. Go check out Dr. Trouble. Give him a follow. How are you doing, man? I'm just over here trying to get through this damn World 4-4. Four four. I don't know if you've played this game, man. It's a, it's a bit tricky. It's a 
tad bit tricky. Okay, I think we can get a mushroom from this one now that we're... Little Mario. There we go. Hammer room, jump over that. Okay, bad RNG, bad RNG. Sometimes they'll be jumping as you're trying to jump over them. Yeah, we finished up Baldur's Gate 3 a few days ago. Great game. Yo, dude, GG's on beating it. That's awesome. That's a long game, and I know you must have been at it for a while. As most people are. So. What the fuck, dude? What is going on? Do you prefer door handles that pull down or that you grab and turn to open? Wouldn't want to install the wrong door handle. Yeah, that's true. You just want a door handle that works, dude. That's all I want. As long as it does the job, I think we're alright. <clears throat> what just happened? Nymeria Fox, eight months. Oh my god. God, that's crazy. Thank you so much for the resub, Nymeria. How are you doing? Prefer vagin handles? <laughs> Doctor. I actually haven't had it taken a shot at this game. I heard it was pretty hard. It's pretty tricky, man. But at least the good thing, though, Dr. Trouble and anybody else, is this one it doesn't give you a hard game over where you have to go all the way back to the menu and start from world one. one. This one is just resets you back to the beginning of the uh, the world. So. At least that's nice of them. Otherwise, it would be insane, yes. Um, but it's still pretty tough. I'm not going to lie. I've been struggling here in the same world for a while. How you doing, Nymeria Fox? Thank you so much for stopping in. Thank you so much for resubbing. You're awesome. You're amazing. Everybody go follow Nymeria Fox if you haven't yet. She's over there playing Spyro, Year of the Dragon. How's that going, by the way, for you? I, I still got to play the second one. I've uh, Wait, is that, is that the second one? Which one is this? There's Year of the Dragon, there's Ripto's Rage. Is Year of the Dragon the third one? Did you already get to the third one? That's awesome if you did. Um, very ragey. Yeah, 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 I bet. Um, yeah, guys, uh, she's awesome. Super, super nice. Very sweet. Um, she's It's always a good time over there and very welcoming. Great community. And she plays some cool games, whether it's retros, more retro stuff like Spyro and the Dragon or the Fallout, early Fallout games, uh, to more like, you know... Um, a lot of multiplayer stuff. Grand Theft Auto V. I've seen her do role play in that. Uh, Fortnite. Uh, what the heck was that crazy deer game you you and Flu were playing? All sorts of crazy stuff, man. But it's always a good time, man. It's just a nice place to chill and vibe and all that. Like I said, very welcoming. It's always good. Go check her out. Give her a follow. She's awesome. She's fantastic. Thank you so much for stopping in. Thank you for the resub. Really appreciate you. You're the dragon is three. Okay, okay. Hey, you're gonna be you're gonna be done with the classic trilogy here, Nymeria Fox. Hell yeah, very very soon. And doctor, take my pinas. <laughs> very ragey. Uh, oh dear. Okay, yeah, yeah. That that looks silly. You're like running around and. That and the Goat Simulator game. Yeah, you guys playing some silly stuff. But yo, Ultima CJ with the raid, bro. Thank you so much. Holy crap. Thank you for the awesome epic raid, CJ. Ulti, how you doing? Thank you for popping in. How's it going? How did the stream go? I know you were playing some uh, Outer Worlds. You were doing a celebration uh, of uh, 700 followers and your birthday. So that's awesome. That's epic. GG's happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to Ultima CJ. And, uh, you know, congrats on the 700 followers as well, dude. Um, but, guys, go check out Ultima CJ. Very, very cool guy. Very chill, good vibes over there. Um, he plays, you know, retro games, new games as well. He'll be playing, like, you know, Fallout New Vegas. He'll be playing Pokemon Yellow, uh, Astral Chain, so action games like that. Valheim, uh, Need for Speed games. Um all types of stuff, Outer Worlds right, right now, and he's also, what's really awesome is he's a game developer, he, you know, he makes his own games, you can even go check them out on Steam, you can ch check out the demo, uh, Destiny of a Wizard is the name of the series, um, so yeah, go check out if you're interested, you know, supporting uh, develop, some, you know, developers, game developers, that's so cool, and uh, yeah, dude, awesome stuff. Go check him out. Give him a follow. And if you have to raid and run, dude, I totally understand. But I appreciate the raid. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome in, raiders. Welcome to Great Ren Streams. If you're new here, you can just call me Ren, and I'm a variety streamer. I lean a little bit more towards the retro side, trying to catch up on classics that I missed out on from back in the day. Um, so, uh, you know, games from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, like NES, Super NES, Sega Genesis, PS1, all this, all this good stuff. Uh, there's a lot that I missed out on. 
Um, so a lot of first playthroughs, or just games that I never beat as a kid and I'd like to finally conquer them. Um, and also just revisiting some of my favorites from time to time as well. So here we are, Super Mario Brothers uh, Lost Levels. We were playing Super Mario Brothers 2. I was getting a little bit bored of it. It was not exactly my cup of tea. Maybe I'll come back to it. Um, but so we switched to Lost Levels, which is pretty tough, but it's already like so much more fun than um, Super Mario Brothers 2. Because, you know, it feels like Mario. It just feels tight and flowy and the jumps. Everything feels so much better, level design and everything. So it's a good time. Yeah, we're a lot more first place to... to you know, to come, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy your stay, thank you so much for the raid, dude, I appreciate you, and definitely guys, go check out CJ, give him a follow, thanks so much, dude, Nymeria is the best, dude, Nymeria is awesome, Ultimate CJ, CJ, raid, Thunderfoot Bros, what is up, how you doing, Thunderfoot Bros, good to see you too, yeah, guys, go check out Thunderfoot Bros as well, you got the brothers, Thunderfoot Brothers, they're over there playing retro games, doing achievement hunting, playing some some awesome games, doing, you know, like I said, the achievement stuff is super hard to do. Like, there's some tough stuff, so go check him out. He's awesome. Even plays uh, the cr controller upside down. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome and wild, but great vibes, super chill, good stuff, guys. Go check out Thunderfoot Bros. You got to go for 30 more minutes. Yeah, you're probably right, but I mean, I got a few more runs in me. That's fine. I'm kind of just like really want to finish World 4. It's pretty tough. Need cake. Yeah, dude, get yourself some cake. Did you get did you get some cake? Uh Namiria Cox. <laughs> Defang, you don't have a raid alert? Ren, we need a great raid uh alert since she streams. I do have a raid alert, but not like a custom one. It's just like the generic one. But yeah, I gotta I gotta update that. Lost levels again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, you guys are awesome. No, you guys are awesome. I appreciate the show. Of course, man. Thanks for being here. Done for bros. You said Namiria Cox. <laughs> I am gay. Does anybody on Twitch game with their feet? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I haven't met anybody, but probably. But yeah, the game's kicking my butt, but it's okay. It kind of goes into territory. Just trying to get through this damn World 4 4. I am trying to beat the game any anytime soon here, but at least I can beat this damn world. But the cool thing, the, the nice thing, I already said it a bunch of times, is that uh, it doesn't have hard game overs, so at least when you have like a game over, you just continue back from the beginning of this world. I'm happy to know that. <laughs> I know someone who paints with their feet. Well, hey, there you go. That's not too far off. Do they stream it? Ah, shit. There goes my fire, Mario. It's all right. I think we can get him back. Okay, too many bullet bills. Hello. It's too messy, too messy. But yeah, CJ, if you have to raid and run, man, get yourself some rest or whatever. That's totally get you, but you're more than welcome to stay and hang out. We'd love to have you here. Ulti. For that. <laughs> Got the foot fetishers too. She has streamed it. She has streamed it. <laughs> Matt, are you just copying her? Okay. Almost at Bowser's Castle. That's when it gets. That's when it gets a bit sinister. Matt fucking. <laughs> Yeah, don't be too trolly there, man. And that's a wild one. We love him, though. Mm -mm. Matt being evil. <laughs> CJ approves. CJ likes that destruction! Okay, World 4-4. This is the troublemaker here. Just really trying hard to hold on to this fire Mario that I have right now. The uh, white overall Mar Mario. That way we can fight Bowser a little bit easier. I always end up getting hit. So let's try not to have that happen. 
to jump just like a split second later. So there goes Fire Mario. If we can keep Big Mario, that's still good. So we can take a hit and just use the invincibility frames to, to run through if necessary. Challenge. Okay, just run and jump over this guy. Okay, not bad, not bad. I got a flame Mario up there, but how did I lose that, dude? <laughs> I'm invincible. Boris, I am invincible. You guys ready to play some more Goldeneye? I don't know what I was doing. I think I just got impatient. Sorry to pop in so quick, Rent. Oh, no. There, you don't have to. No, you never have to apologize for that. I appreciate you even stopping in and saying hi. Thank you so much, Nightmare Fox. Guys, go check her out. Like I said, she's awesome. She's playing the classic Spyro game. She's playing the remake version of it, but... Either way, it's a good time. She's awesome, super nice, very sweet, and uh, plays uh, a lot of cool games, variety of games, new games, old games, multiplayer games, you name it. Go check out Nymeria Fox. Yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for popping in. Uh, played Mario's Adventures in the beginning, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, and boy, it's a doozy. Mario's Adventure in the beginning, Super Mario Bros. 3. Hmm. So what is that? I must know more. Ah, it's a hack. Okay, that makes sense. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's like a Kaizo or something. Here, those Kaizos are a bit of a doozy. Mm, night, night, Fox. Good sleep. Night, nighty, night. You troublemaker. He's a bit of a, bit of a troublemaker. Kind of. Just had to turn around. Just had to. It's fine. Give this another one of these. As Dango said, don't go too fast. <laughs> it's fun going fast, though. If you can handle it. If you can handle it. Alright, lock it too. That's enough. Lock it too. That's enough out of you. I wouldn't say Kaizo, but it does have troll moments. Either way, it's probably top for eight. Likewise. You get some good sleep when you go. Night Fox probably need to pass out soon to myself. She kicks. She kicked my eggs. <laughs> Interesting. You don't say. I really hate that the, getting the flame when you're in small Mario mode just makes you big Mario. Not fire Mario. I mean, it was like that in the first Super Mario Brothers as well, but just saying. Just saying, just saying. Bad RNG. So much fun going fast, but <laughs> risky. Yeah, I mean, you have to, like, you have to know it even better. Like, you have to know it really well to be able to do that. Because then you're basically starting to speed run, you know? Delete this comments. <laughs> now! Which one? She kicks your eggs? Kakoi. Ice physics and retro games suck. Yeah, dude. It can definitely be a bit rough. Bad RNG, huh? <laughs> Just a bit. I mean, we're still alive, but... And we'll get have more opportunities to get... 
power ups are right here. Mm, mm, mm. Almost had bear. It was kind of bad RNG there, but we didn't get nipped. into a hammer, I guess. It's <laughs> Yeah, but he doesn't always throw them. He usually doesn't throw them. That's what the thing is. She kicked my eggs. Again, <laughs> he showed us. He showed us. Kakoi, yoitsi. Kakoi. Oh, that's right. We can get the... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Go, 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 go. No. <laughs> that was just stupid on my part, but... Yeah, I was kind of dozing off there mentally, I guess. Oh, well. Okay, okay. Okay, run, jump. See, here he just falls. He didn't even throw hammers like the other guy did. The other guy was a bad RNG. This guy, I think he's pretty consistent. He doesn't throw hammers right away. Too risky to jump for that. Jump, dude. What the fuck? Holy crap, Skelly. Skelly's in the skeleton. What's up, dude? How are you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Welcome, welcome, welcome for playing Super Mario Brothers, The Lost Levels. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Everybody go check out Skelly the Skeleton. He was playing uh, Shadow of the Colossus not long ago. I think it was, it was a while since he played it. So it wasn't the first playthrough, but man, that game is so good. Such a classic. Also playing some Hollow Knight right now. I know I haven't played it myself, but I hear it's a very, very good Metroidvania. One of the best, actually. Um, and a very, very good game overall in general. Uh, but he plays a lot of spooky games, Resident Evil, Condemned Criminal Origins, and uh, tons of other stuff. But you guys should definitely go check him out. I mean, he's, he's a good time. He's super chill. Good vibes. How are you doing, man? Thanks for stopping in. Uh, she said my gonads were not looking, were not good looking. Sonic can't be too hard as long as I keep some rings. Yeah, that's true. But there's uh, some situations where when you start losing your rings, you can't get them back. It should be easier than this. Skeleton is a bag of bones with an insidious character. You press jump now? Damn. Yeah, I thought I pressed it. I... I... <clears throat> doing well, homie. Yeah, good to see you too, man. Good to see you too. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. How are you enjoying Hollow Knight? I got that in the backlog. I have no idea when I'll get to it. Maybe when it becomes a retro game, I'll finally get around to it. No, I mean, I play some modern games here and there, but... Get the classics. Hell, I want to replay Symphony of the Night, Castlevania. Been a long time since I played that one. Okay. Running start. Yeah. Okay, that is the gap that we want. Is it? That's the gap we want. Where's the gap we want? Suka blight. Don't die.
forgot about the fireball. So far, so good. Yeah, you're like, maybe it starts off a little slow, but then it gets really good. Ah, uh, how a pity. Sex and shadow. Sam, I miss Kelsa wifey. Sympathy of my wife, she's here with you. Me too, Sayer. Yeehaw, I don't miss Kelsey. Yeah, I want to kiss her. <laughs> Hello, small cock. Make good sex. I have no idea what I'm reading, but okay. Sometimes you just gotta back away. Back away and nod. Frames go. <laughs> I just fucking, I just fucking bum rushed in that bitch. Ugh. See if I still had Big Mario, I could, I could get away with it. <laughs> uh, I think I was just, yeah, <laughs> I went a little bit too foolhardy with those invincibility frames. Good try, thank you. Do 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 do. I want to kiss the penguin from Batman. <laughs> really? Okay. You have to pay the toll to cross the bridge. Uh, bro, I'm gonna go in down a prepping rabbit hole. Across the bridge from your peony to your ass. I'm gonna reach my ultimate phase, bushcraft saber. Bro just headbutted Gate Bowser. Ren was like brute force. Yeah, I know. I was just kind of hoping that he would be jump or something, or I could have jumped over him. But yeah, that just didn't work too good. It's alright. Yo, Heartstream, what's up, dude? Doing good, man. Just getting my ass kicked by this game. Have you played this one? Yeah, I had to start playing Super Mario Brothers 2, man. I was I was getting a little, a little tired of it. And maybe I'll come back to it, but... You know, this is the Japan Mario Brothers 2, the lost levels. It's pretty tough. But I'm have, already having way more fun with it than the other Mario 2. Did you ever play this? But guys, go check out Heartstream if you haven't, man. He's a very cool guy. He's a big fan of Mario, the classics, the new ones. He was playing Mario Odyssey. Um, he's a big fan of Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. You know, one of his favorites. He plays games like Hi-Fi Rush, Dead Space. Uh, what is it? Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, Celeste. So many games, man. He is definitely a variety streamer, if I've ever seen one. But yeah, go check him out, give him a follow. He's a very nice guy too. Good times, good vibes. Go check out Hot Stream! But yeah, we're doing good. Just trying to get through World 4. Getting close, can get to Bowser a few times, but he just keeps cock blocking me. Yeah, you're welcome for the shoddy, man. Thanks for being here. Hi, dude. Finished to return to Monkey Island today. Nice, dude. GG's. Let's go. Yeah, he was playing Monkey Island as well. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, stop it. So, what is your um, your takeaway? What is... Now that you finished it, how did you like it? it seemed like you were enjoying it. Good game. Great game. Amazing game. The best game you've ever played in your life. What? Oh, I didn't have my invincibility frames, that's why. Mm -hmm. The game itself wonderfully funny as fuck, but the ending, oh, ending, made you angry, disappointing. Well, at least it was an overall 
good experience. But yeah, it sucks when it's like a story type of thing and then towards the end it just doesn't deliver or... I don't know. It's definitely me with Shenmue 3. <laughs> Sounds like you still had a good time. What? What? No. No. Donkey Kook. Donkey Kook. Yeah, that was bad RNG with the bullet bill. Is that game over? Have had to leave their system was on with this one on the Famicom. Cause that's some bullshit. Hiya! What the? What the? Chuvak! Stream had sex with a scart lead. What? You gonna take you back to the past to play the shitty games of suck ass? <laughs> He's like, I did. Link to the ass to play the shitty games of suck ass. I stink in my ass. Whoa, that was weird. Three. Mario had ADHD, OCD, and most importantly, HIV, like Tom Hanks in Philadelphia. -y. I just had to try to make it rhyme there for you at the end. Just kind of complete it, you know. Mm -mm. You'd rather have a buffalo. <laughs> No, but you are. Oh. All right. Back to Bowser's Castle. Let's go. I didn't get the mushroom. Okay, that was weird. I, I, I don't know. I, I just I don't even know what that was. <laughs> that was very weird. That was a brain fart. Okay. This is looking a little bit more promising already. Take a diarrhea dump in your ear. Grab a buffalo, take a diarrhea dump in his ear. He'd rather eat the rotten asshole of a roadkill skunk and down it with beer. He's the angriest gamer you've ever. He's the Atari Sega nerd. <laughs> uh, 
Matt Smith like Anastasia Lux BBW, 231 pounds and built like a fridge linebacker. Hey, don't we all? I thought that was, I thought that was common sense, Crosser. <laughs> Whoops. Did you try the angry video game nerd game sometime? Have you played it? Is it good? Dude, Super Mario Brothers 2 doesn't have any of that. Yeah, it's like all those NES games that suck ass. Is it like shitty? Or just like it's good, but just making fun of them. Anastasia Lux, ooh, I want to play her. I want to play her. Interesting. Interesting assessment from that sort of thing. Gee, he didn't jump or throw the the hammer right away. She a big boy with a Barbara Bush. <laughs> okay. It's good, frustratingly hard, but there's a few difficulty levels I ever seriously trying to beat. Pretty difficult, huh? Sounds like a sounds like quite a whammy. Like a big old whammy. No, no, no. Ah, it would have been cool if the bullet bill came and I was able to bounce off of it. I didn't clear the jump of the onto the platform. Lame. Get back on there. Mario, get your bitch ass back on there. Okay. You can still do it even even if you miss that. So. Anastasia Lux, I Google this. She's not that fat. She's curvy and sexy MILF. No, she is curvy with the gut of Hank Hill MILF. <laughs> uh, come on, fire. Fire. Let's get the fucking fire. I was holding right. I was holding right. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Bullshit. Yes. 541. All right. I think two more tries tops. Two more runs. All right. We're 
gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Just gotta get in the zone. Auto zone. Her bush looks like Napoleon. Bro, Pierce Bush, wife of 43rd president. Vice President, first uh, 46th President, United States, George H.W. Bush. Wouldn't mind a Rhino Destruction game being a thing. Hey, man, you gotta make somebody make it. Or make it yourself. What would a Rhino Destructo game be like? Lots of nukes. Lots of rhinos and lots of nukes, probably. First thing comes to mind over here, at least. Sarah J. Lots of gore. Yeah, lots of gore. TMNT. Although, I guess you'd have to get the copyright for all that stuff. I like Leslie Lee. All the gore. He's a gua boy. He's a gua kind of boy. of the castle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Long jump. High jump. Teeter totter. Okay. Hey, jump. Okay. And then we do this. Okay. Come on, good RNG. Let's go. Cute. Oh shit, shit. Go back, go back. Jump. I guess it's not that big a deal, but it just makes this part a little bit easier to clear. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> Always gotta happen. Always gotta happen. I like lesbian rallies and their chants where girls were gay were going away. Still clear it. And we can. Feel your pain. It's alright. Like I said, I'm still having more fun with this, retrying it over and over than retrying Super Mario Brothers 2. Like I just like the you know the, the feel of it, the technique. It's just more satisfying to play. This run and then one more run for tonight. Booyah! We 
big, bitches we big. A lot of it you can just kind of run through really fast. Not everything. Way done. <laughs> but hey, I mean, like I said, we have a permanent checkpoint. I'm not saving, but as long as I don't turn it off, we should be okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, this game quickly becomes fun. And exactly, exactly. If if if, because so I said, if a game's challenging but it's well made, I can, it'll stick me through. But if it's challenging but not fun, I, I'm gonna get bored. Rhino the structure is half human, half animal, half machine. And all Rhino. Yeah, she's hot. Yep. Another Toad saved. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to do. Doing this to save Toad. Uh, fuck those guys. Shroom uh, power up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. Time to power up. Thank you for that, Dango. But hey, we're halfway done. We got this. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got upside down ones. I don't even think Mario 1 had that. That's just crazy. something enough times, right? You're gonna eventually get it. Because it's mostly the same. Oh, we got wind, don't we? That's what this is. Well, that's different. Is it like permanent wind or does it shut off? Yeah, I can tell it's, <laughs> it's causing me to slide. It's Donkey Kong Country 2 shit. Damn it. Now we got a running start on that. Guar's pretty rad. Got another Guar fan here. I was created and it built with the sole purpose of one day destroying Guar for the Master. Little did the Master know I once found Guar on Earth and they would become my favorite fate. I think so. I think so. That's rough. You, you think that be it? <laughs> it was rumored at one time. <laughs> nah. Saw them one time ten plus years ago. They opened for Lamb of God. Pretty awesome experience with Odorous. Best time. <laughs> Stupid. I just want to play this a little bit more because it's like a new world. Because it's a whole new world. A whole new fantastic point of view. Da 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 da. Da da da. Dun, 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 dun. 
We already played Aladdin. Well, we played the Genesis Aladdin. I still gotta do the uh, SNES Aladdin. So they are different enough. I'll be seeing them for like the 33rd. Oh my god, I've never seen anybody. I think I've seen Iron Maiden like five times, maybe. 33, wow. Are you like the number one fan? You just gotta go. You gotta go with the float. That's a true fan. Seriously. I don't even know if they take you anywhere. Okay, here we go. Interesting, interesting. Whoa, back to back? Sucks the shell doesn't kill that guy. God damn it! <laughs> that wasn't a very well timed jump. Mm -mm. I'm a top fan. The guys do what do know me. They've seen me. Really? Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't know what kind of momentum we're gonna need here, but uh, there's that. Uh, I don't, I don't know what I'm jumping into if I'm doing that. Ah, uh, what the hell? Is this like a whole high wall? There must be some invisible platforms or something. Okay, one more, one more try. I just wanted to play this a little bit since it was new, you know. Can't blame me. It's grinding in that world four for a while. Jumping on hoes, we be jumping on hoes. Okay, this is what killed me last time, wasn't it? No, what the fuck? I forgot that they turn when you land on them. Ah, two jumping bastards is annoying. Jeez, jeez, Louise. Um, I have party with all the guys in Gore. Unlike those big bands, they party and hang out with their fans. Almost went to an amusement park. Wow, that's crazy. I thought I could maybe play through Super Mario Brothers 1 and Lost Levels tomorrow in six hours, but no chance of that. This is built for tough. Have you played this before? You must have played this, Dango, right? Yeah, this one, uh, good luck with that. Yo, Sixth Chick, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Having dinner, finally. <laughs> it's only 3 a.m. It's almost 6 here. Yeah, I gotta go to sleep after this run, but uh, let's give Sixth Chick a shouty. See what you were playing last. Some Stardew Valley. There you go. That's a pretty chill, nice, relaxing game. Guys, go check out Six Chick playing some Stardew Valley. Give her a follow. 
Yeah, thanks for popping in. How are you doing? How's dinner? What are you What are you having for dinner? That's really awesome. That's incredible having. Yeah, that's wild. That's that's pretty cool and down to earth of them to do that. You yeah, you have their their personal numbers or something. <laughs> you go over for Thanksgiving dinner. There we go. Okay, just gotta get him out of here. Okay, so... There we go. Got me some other invisible platform. There we go. Come on. That is weird. I've never seen that in this old Mario. Just like a freaking giant block of ground or whatever. Oh, flagpole. There we go. Be over 5 1. Let's go. Do -do 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 oh, shit. Thank you for the shot. Of course. Of course. Thank you for stopping in here. I'm in an ad, so if you said anything nice about me, I didn't hear it. Uh, a lot of love and respect both ways. Same. I. Do you have some personal contact info? I returned from Adjia. Well, thank you. Thank you for sticking through the ads. I really do appreciate it. No, I was just saying, yeah, guys, go check out uh, Six Chick uh, playing Stardew Valley. And, uh, you know, great times, good vibes, and I appreciate you. <laughs> what did you say about me? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, there you go. But, uh, yeah, GG's. Thank you. Thank you for the GG's. Underwater level? Or a cave level? Oh, uh, yeah, dude, this is the first like, halfway through the game. I don't even think we've done a cave level yet. Or maybe I just forgot. Maybe I forgot. That's interesting. Deathly mushroom. We don't want that. We don't want any of that. It's probably good that we went up here, huh? Ah, crappity crap crap. One second, guys. Uh, when, oh yeah, six is great. Tee hee hee. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, when Mario jumps, it sounds just like when my dog Lucy farts, really. That's interesting. There you go, you got a Mario farting dog. Ooh, well look at that, I was just jumping in place and I found out it was a mushroom there, that's fun. I lost it, but I mean, that's fun to know. What's the blue shroom doing Mario giving blue balls? We don't need that. Yeah, I mean, he already gets blue balled enough by like, Sa trying to, you know, save the castle, save Peach, and then you just got Toad in another castle. The guy's blue balled to freaking, you know, I don't know what, but he's definitely got some blue balls. No, that mushroom uh, will kill you if you're a little Mario. If you're big Mario, it's going to shrink you down. Poison mushroom. Darn it. Okay, it's six o'clock. I should probably stop. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna call it a night here, but hey, we made some progress. We beat two worlds. What was it? World three and world four. So that's that's pretty cool. World four was pretty tough, and I'm sure this is gonna be tough too. But hey, we'll make it through, you know? Just gotta inch your way, tiptoe. Good to go. All that good stuff, you know what I mean? You beat Super Mario. No, we did. I didn't beat it. I mean, I got like maybe halfway ish or so, and then it just, you know, I just wasn't enjoying that one as much. Maybe I'll come back to it, but I was just getting a little bored and wanted to just, like, ah, maybe I'll try. Let me just try Lost World since it's already on here on the Switch Online thing. And then I, 
I kind of accidentally got hooked on this one. Because I was, like, enjoying it a lot more right away. <laughs> you know? It felt like Mario. But maybe we'll come back to Super Mario Brothers 2. We'll see. So what is this? Today's the Friday night... Uh, the Wednesday night stream, right? Yeah, so... Friday we're probably going to do... Probably Tekken, like we normally do. Um, I'll try to see if I can squeeze in another stream before Monday... Because otherwise it's just going to take forever to beat some of these games. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do a Saturday stream or maybe a random tomorrow night stream. We'll, we'll see. Otherwise, if I don't, like I said, tech in Friday and then the latest for, for more lost levels would be on Monday for sure. Because I do normally stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and like I said, if I can squeeze in some streams here or there, I'll, I'll try to do that. Um, and I normally start between 10 p.m. and midnight Eastern time. So it's kind of, you know, late night streams. Some Splatoon 3 Friday. Yeah, maybe. I mean, definitely want to do Tekken, but maybe we could switch to Splatoon as well. You know, maybe. Instead of Mario or something. Mario Kart, I mean. So we'll see how it goes. So very possible. And um, yeah, if you guys are on YouTube, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. If you guys are on Twitch, hit that follow button if you've been enjoying the content. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd greatly appreciate that. And um, yeah, I gave those details of when I stream. And if you guys on Twitch don't know, I do have a YouTube channel where I also make... Uh, Retro reviews, retrospectives, top 10 videos, all that good stuff of some of the you know, classic retro games. Uh, a lot of stuff that I grew up playing and absolutely love and adore. You know, Sonic, uh, freaking uh, Shenmue, Tenchu, Stealth Assassins, Metal Gear Solid, and tons of other games and stuff like that. Some cool collaborative videos with my friends, and it's like more of like a little bit longer format, highly edited type of stuff. Yeah, people who check it out seem to like it a lot. So if that interests you, check out that link. Um... And uh, I think we're good. So let me do our thanks. And any shout outs, any streamers still here, let me know. I'll give you guys a shout out before we head out. And then we'll uh, read out to somebody. Cool. Okay, where did we start tonight? Doom, doom, doom. Body, body, bada, bada. Oh, yeah, we got Soul Solace resubscribing. I've been subscribed for nine months. That is crazy. Already nine months. That's awesome, dude. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, Bundor 8D, thank you so much for the follow. Map, map, map. Thank you so much for the awesome raid. I really appreciate you. And Salt 86, thank you so much for the raid as well. Great to have you. You are awesome. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's jump up here for safety purposes. <laughs> Brian with an I, thank you so much for the follow. Dab Grabber, thank you so much for the follow as well. Good to have all you guys in here. Dango Rangos with the five stream streak. Let's freaking go. Disease Free, thank you so much for the awesome epic raid. Very, very nice of you. I really appreciate you, man. This game is broken. Diesel Girl 007, Grezco Kit, thank you so much for the follows, guys. Nymeria Fox resubbing for eight months. Thank you so much. And Ultima CJ, dude, thank you so much for the uh, awesome epic raid here as well at the end. And happy birthday and happy 700 followers as well, man. Congrats on that. GG's. Thanks so much. Do, do, do. I thought the black one. There's no. No. That's the same one. It's the, the, the blue one. It's a fun stream. Yeah, of course, man. Thank you for being here, Dango. And you too, Rhino, and everybody else. Uh, but yeah, thanks, everybody. Whether you're here just popping in to say hi, bye, you got to go real quick. That's, you know, I, so nice of you to stop in, you know. Uh, with the limited time that we have here on this planet, I appreciate you guys in any capacity. Quiet lurks, uh, active chatting, everything. You guys are amazing. Thank you so freaking much. And let's shout out Rhino Destructo, guys. Check out Rhino Destructo. He's very destructive. Very, very destructive. Really likes nukes, apparently. <laughs> but he's over there playing some WWE 2K24. He's a big wrestling fan, big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans, the games, the movies, the show, all that stuff. Um, you know, horror franchises, uh, Chucky, Dead by Daylight, Friday the 13th, all that. Resident Evil fan, horror horror games, all that all that good stuff, man. You know, so he's a big war fan, too, as you can tell. Go follow him. Very nice guy. Very cool times. And also, guys, go check out Dango Rangus. I'm going to be doing their uh, first stream. First ever stream coming up here with Super Mario Brothers. So if you guys you know, like Mario and want to support a new up-and-coming streamer, go check out Dango Rangus. Give him a follow as well. Thank you guys so much. Okay, let's uh, find out who we can raid out to. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. I said Scooby-Doo. Hey, Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. My name is Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, 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 Scooby-Doo. Okay, okay. So... Do -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I got somebody in mind that we haven't raided in a bit. Do 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 do. Make sure they're still going. That they're still going and going and going. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Okay. Okay, let's close that tab because CJ raided into me and I was lurking on him. <laughs> so like, why am I lurking on myself? That's silly. Okay, yeah, looks like uh, Lexi's still playing. Rockstar Lexi, guys, let's go raid her. She's all about the retro, all about the classics. She does retro achievements, so she's over there, you know, grinding out the super tough um, goals that you got to do in some of these retro games. She's playing Donkey Kong Country 2, which is a pretty difficult game in and of itself. So I can't even imagine what the retro achievements are on that. But she's awesome, very, very nice. Big Sonic fan, too. So let's go show some love and some hype and some support. Here is her channel in case anybody that doesn't transfer over on mobile. There's her. Uh, here is the raid message. If you guys want to use that or use whatever, you know, just show some love and hype. I'd appreciate that if you can hang, on, hang out for a second. And let's start that raid up. Yeah, we'll be back Friday for some Tekken, maybe some Splatoon on there as well, because I've never really played that. And then uh, Mario, Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels, Monday the latest, but I'll see if I can sneak in on either tomorrow night or Saturday night. We'll see if time allows it. But we'll see you soon. Love you guys. You're fantastic. I appreciate all the good stuff. We'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your week. Uh, okay, yeah, we have her open, right? Okay, cool. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>